If we could take on a Master Rank Teostra, that would make me happy. I just need two claws. That's fine for me. Yeah, with that, we are now live. Welcome to another stream of Food and Zionics being carried by Moki. I mean, <laughs> playing games poorly. <laughs> That's right. Much take on a normal difficulty Toby again, uh, so I can get up to... Oh, uh, yeah. But anyways, so... Investigation. Uh, we are clearly playing a three-man hunt tonight, just like last time, and we're going to grind out some shit. Now my introduction is done. We can go back to whatever. He'll throw us up. Oh, good times. Uh, any weapon wishes from you guys to me? Or just making it quick with a heavy bowgun? I was gonna say, you do you on this particular one. I think, I think we're actually gonna be somewhat useful, but obviously you're gonna be doing a good chunk. <coughs> like all the time. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as per tradition. <laughs> Pretty much. Spread ammo was put in. Getting used to. Yeah. Well, what weapon build are you even considering yourself? By the way, well, with the bow gun. Right now. Or for what uh, are you aiming? Well, I kind of want to build that Yen Garuga rapid fire pierce build. Okay. But, you know, that's... You have to get up to Scarred Yen Garuga to get the level 2 version of that gun, I think. So it's... I think we have to get up to 6 in the forest on the Guiding Lands before Scarred Yen Garuga even shows up. <laughs> but... Uh, you could go with a Sticky Bitch, which does way more damage than what you're currently doing right now. Yeah, everything I read said the um, the Yen Garuga was sticky. well, yeah, because Yen Garuga is multi-shot pierce and multi-shot sticky. Like both the sticky and the piercing shot were uh, yeah, but it isn't it. as strong. You can go either one. You can't go both. Well, yeah, I know. I get that. I just I I think it's the same gun that does both. I watch too many videos. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's his Germanic way of saying you're dumb. No, it's just you could already use the raging uh, light bow gun, the 10,000 volts. I mean, we did buy the raging already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, compared with three pieces Nagakuga, one Diablos, one uh, Teostra. Teostra chest, Diablos uh, braces slash gloves, and uh, the rest Nagakuga. And you would have already a pretty decent sticky build if you put in the artillery charm or throw some artillery jewels in there. Alright, well, um,. I guess we have to hunt this toaster then before I can build that. Give me your claws. I need two of them. Mm -hmm. You should have like eight. I mean, it's just something I could say for you. No, yeah, no, you're good. I mean, it's your choice what you play. <laughs> no, uh, Rapid Sticky, I know it's super powerful. I've just been focusing more on uh, Rapid Spread since it was my better option for the time being. 
because I was able to max out my uh, uh, my Almira gun, which is one of the strongest rapid fire spread too. I mean, the most people that recommend the uh, Raging Naga uh stuff is speedrunning to must rank 999, so... Yep. I'm certainly willing to give it a shot. I know I we hunted Rajang last time, I'm not sure if I have enough to build his gun, though. Yeah, but uh, rapid fire PS, for instance, is only good if you go up against some large monsters like uh, Vakana or stuff like that. Gotcha. Where rapid fire sticky is more general badassery. Yep. For Teal Sir, for instance, uh, sticky would be stronger because more knockout damage. And. He isn't as <coughs> long for a monster to hit as many times, if you consider it. And the head was already weakened. I did it in the beginning of the fight. Now I'm trying to. Owie! Being useful? Yeah, I know. Mm. It's no problem. They're adorable, look at them. <laughs> they pretend like they're participating in everything. You could bang him into a wall though. If he moves up to a wall. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you got right close to a wall. Down here is not super conducive to banging him into a wall. He should be following me up to a wall, I think. Up here, Biggie. Up yep. here. There he is. And something you could consider is uh, putting at least one point flinch free in your set. One point of what? Of flinch free. Flinch free uh. is so you don't get staggered when something like a bullet or something hits you. Yeah. That has become more prevalent lately. Yep. I'm maybe a bit too generous of getting my damage out right now. Fuck me. Mm. 
Nah, no thanks. I don't like old cars. <laughs> Come on, you know, the only issue is he's a couple thousand miles away. <laughs> that does well. Could you not focus me down, you bitch? Fuck off! No more dying, please, otherwise we fail. Roger that. Bang him into a wall again. Yeah, he was trying, but he threw me off. Ah, he doesn't like me drinking potions. Don't do that. Sand. Want me to try and put him to bed? I'm not gonna complain if you do. Oh, 
I knocked him down. Yep. Holding off on March sleep. Yeah, you're 230 from 370 on sleep, so you need a bit more. But he's oh, sleeping he... anyway now. Yeah, he's going home to go to bed anyways. Reloading my gun. me I just want to blow up your feet do your thing milky you mean like this exactly He has 7k I just left. I mean, we burnt him down from 70k, so... Oh. That was a lot of Watch out, damage. you're almost dead, by the way. Yep, yeah, I'm fixing that. <laughs> Yep. Right when I turned my camera angle, it was behind me. Uh... Balls. <clears throat> he doesn't like me right now. I think I beat him up too much in the last few hours. Well, and having two people with you basically doubles his health. 3.5 times mm -hmm. we're playing on four player difficulty so he has 70,000 health instead of 27,000 health huh. mm, yep my fixed solo he has somewhere around uh, 16 Anyway, let's go again. Different investigation, same monster. I mean, this time I got insurance, so we got one more death to go. <laughs> I would just like to point out, I didn't die in that fight. I did twice, I'm sorry, I'm bad okay. right now. <laughs> but yeah, I did actually. fight him at least 50 times today, so... I don't know, I'm still Nobody. sure you did 70% of the damage. <laughs> Somewhere around that, yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, maybe I'll get lucky, we'll break off a claw by bouncing it into a wall, and then I'll get the what I need anyways. <laughs> So there's no blacksmith in the gathering hub, is there? There is, you just have to run on the stairway <laughs> on the far left side. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, I went trying to look for that and my dumbass couldn't find him. Or her. Yeah, 
You know you could have jumped to camp 15 and spawned directly above him. Nope. But it works for me because I didn't pick up bombs. the wall you can start up any time now music there it is Kicked his puppies. Is that a double KO? Yep. Looks like it. One normal and one time because of my mantle. The first KO was because we did enough damage on his face, and the second one was because of my mantle doing stun. So if you got Delphins. sticky, we would have stunned him at least three more times by now. Now you convinced me to try out this new kill. I mean that's what most hunting parties do, one goes sticky or two goes sticky and uh, <laughs> support the other two guys or one goes hammer and one goes sticky so you get as much knockout damage as possible so the monster stays on the ground for as long as possible so the other two guys can deal as much damage as possible in the meantime that's why you got a hunting party normally. We can throw him into the wall, by the way. Roger that. <laughs> I'm weakening his face. You can throw him into the wall again. Wow, that didn't make him mad? I guess I didn't do it right. Yeah, you can normally do it if you don't turn too much two times. Yeah, you can still do it. Facing the nope. wall when I bonked him. Dragon Heart Claw. Is that what you're looking for, Buddha? Yep, I need one more.
course I get the disabled one. Why he's running? Would he stop running around like a bitch? You got the special shot as well, I guess. Say that again? Mm, you have the special shot or you have the Viper Knight? Oh, no, I have uh, Wyvern Blast. I just put him down whenever we set off the bombs, so. I assume the bombs detonate. Most of the time they do. Yeah, I didn't got my special shot ready. Because I used it earlier. When he flew up, I went out for a bit and shot him then with the special one. Yeah, I don't think I've had a gun that has a special shot. It's always been these wyvern bombs or wyvern blasts. Oh yeah, right, you're using the light bomb one, I forgot. You got, uh... You can also do the mines down every time he gets yeah. knocked down. Yeah, I need to be better at that. And if you put him down, keep shooting over it, so it explodes all the time. Because they only activate if the monster runs over it or you shoot over it. Yeah, fuck you, Teostra. My rock! I was hiding behind that. The bitch is going. Then you should heal up a bit with potion. Yeah, healing.
Snap you time. He still gets my shot in his booty. I don't give a fit. So I have more bombs to place. Do you guys have any more? Um, no, but we can wait more. before he goes to sleep and go to camp 15. Fair enough. Because he's now in a dying sleep, so he sleeps a bit longer, especially if we're not near him. So my shot can recharge in the meantime. Yeah, I always forget we can just go back and get more. Yep. I just get the blood rising in me and I just want to kill it. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, um... What was that guy's name? <laughs> Bionics. <laughs> <laughs> Hiccup. Mmm. Yeah, it's way off. I was thinking like cricket or something like that. Alright. Blow him to hell. This run was way better than the one before. Yeah, it was. <laughs> now give me your claw. The claw! You're scared of the claw. I might refill boot it. <laughs> okay. uh, there's the claw. Large Elder Dragon. Oh, somebody giant. got something rare, yeah. Got a few of those. <sighs> like our pure crystal. But that's what I said. Never is the monster behaving the same way. This round, mm -hmm. he hasn't focused me as hard down as he did before. And I got a one Teostra gem, one large Elder Dragon gem. Again, Teostra gem. Or we could just burn down South Ajiva if you have it. Um, I, I didn't notice Safi, but we might. I don't know, if you have the option here for South Ajiva, we can do it. Which would give you the, the one better option, which would be the Safi Aqua Shot. Smoldering Kingdoms. Buenos dias. Came to see my goods?
Yeah, I don't know if I'm just dumb, but I'm not seeing the blacksmith in here at all. Mm, he said he had to go up the stairs. Go down there. Oh, okay. That is... <laughs> that, that's the... Back to the regular... Is that a smithy editing. or is that a smithy? That is a smithy, but that's not in the gathering hub. That is in the gathering hub. Well, we got a shard. You didn't leave the gathering up. You're still in the gathering up. Event. Otherwise, you Ruth couldn't Roger. see me right now. Alright, so you said <laughs> I wanted uh, Toaster's uh, armor, right? His chest piece? Chest piece, Teostra, headpiece, Nagakuga, uh, gloves, slash braces, Diablos, and. Coil slash boots, Nagakuga as well. Would be an right. early game. <laughs> Easy. So, bot, what are you up to tonight? <coughs> so I did not get everything I needed for... I need a toaster tail and a, another toaster cortex for this. Toaster Been lash. Spending toaster a lot cortex. of time on uh, TikTok. <laughs> and I don't think we've done a Master Mode Diablos yet. So we have everything else for a special ammo boost. I mean, you could also fill it up with jewels if you have it. Then you could go with something else in the meantime. Like breakaging brickadios. Oh, and that's where I was talking about. We need to go hunting for you know, decorations because we're... Just, well, I'm still pretty much flooded with garbage. <laughs> We got three streams going on right now, bot. We got our friend Moki in top left, Buddha top right, and I'm bottom middle. I think you can see the names and the arrows. I'm just answering the question. Can you read? <laughs> you dumb fuck. <laughs> oh, honey, you shouldn't have done that. Like I said, for the <laughs> sticky, it's pretty much only necessary to have artillery. So you know, Buddha bot is blind, so you can't actually read. And the uh, special ammo boost. I might have some artillery, but I don't think I have a special ammo boost. I mean, getting fatalities would solve everything, but you're so far away from that. Oh, not even, mm, can't even smell it. I don't know, but if you can't read, how the hell can you tell our stream's all messed up? RC, how can you tell that our stream's all messed up? No, no, this is all wrong. You're a phony. <laughs> Rajang Barrage. Yeah, food is bowling the blind. <laughs> what can I say? They never see it coming. <laughs> he has braille mode on. <laughs> and it's describing the images? Yeah, it would be very confusing. <laughs> You know, something tells me he's going to be a lot like Kuobar. They're punching each other very rapidly. <laughs> well, I was able to make my Rajang Barrage. Oh wow, this thing... Damn. Oh, I guess you're just supposed to do normal shot sticky ammo 3. Okay.
So Rajang doesn't have a rapid fire sticky. No. Uh, no. Yeah. But you can pretty much easily have to recoil suppression and to re reload e uh, evasion reloading in there, which makes mm. it pretty easy. <coughs> gotcha. Yeah, that's it's dumb. Like the sticky mo two is. Uh, you need to trust me on this. Thirty FOV is superior. <laughs> hmm. I was reading bot's message. Yeah, this is okay. But it does dumb fucking much damage. I know. Like I said, the only other light bowgun which would be even stronger would be the ones from self Achiever. So I take it you're just gonna make it? And... Put two recoil suppression to evade reload in. And then you can, every time you evade and re you can reload your bullets. Hey, but I don't know why 30 degrees of field of vision would be superior. Well, the Rajang tree for me is fucking not. I mean, you and have no pretty idea. easy times having the ammunition for the sticky stuff. I mean, blast nuts all the way in the farming area and you mm. stacked. Yeah. No, I just don't have the. I just don't think I have the decorations to. Uh, 30 FOV. 30 degrees of field of vision. I don't know why that would be superior. I mean, you could uh, swap the razor sharp spare shot out if you get. Yeah, I, uh, I guess if um, I'm doing evade reload, that wouldn't really matter. Yep. And if you put uh, the three Naga Kuga pieces on, I think you have it anyways. <laughs> I enjoyed it. That's all that matters. Yeah, I have a. Uh... Nargakuga Helm, Nargakuga Chest, and Nargakuga Greaves. Yeah, but so. you would uh, switch the chest out because you don't really need Critical Eye. Yeah, no. They, that's just it. Is I need to hunt a Toaster and I need to hunt a Diablos to get the armor. Yep. But, but yeah, no. I, I mean, the Diablos uh, is for having Slug up, I think. For instance, <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty terrible joke, wasn't it, bot? Yeah, I don't have artillery. I don't really have any. I don't have any slugger. What was the other decoration you recommended? Wait a moment. <coughs> so, uh, if I remember correctly, you could also... Um, Where's Diablos? Uh. Yeah, the um, alpha version of Diablos gives you two points in Slugger. 
but I think you could also go with a higher end version right now because you got uh, your normal story done, which would be the Frostfang Berry of which gives you Slugger level 3 and one attack boost. And so that would. Uh, so that would. That, that means I would be running. Um, the Frostfang Berry of Boots. Uh, the true razor shop from the Naga Kuga pieces. Yeah. Well, that was curious. Uh, you never fought a frost fang burial, right? Mm, no, we haven't. We just fought the regular burial. Oh, uh, Buddha's gone. Mm -hmm. And back. It's nice to know I was missed. Well, I just looked over at the stream and saw it was all Moki. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was weird. I had a bit of a, I guess, localized flicker. <coughs> and even my battery pack went down, which really confuses me. Uh, you could sit in a camp while I beat on the first thing barrier really quick with a modded weapon. I don't know. I'm, I'm not super eager to use modded weapons. Like, it, it was cool when you're showing us how badass it was, but... I mean, yeah. we can also do it in a normal way, I don't care. But you yeah. still have to watch out because the Frostfang Barrier fits like a truck. If you don't be careful. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I need to be careful with the uh, Frostfang Barrier. Are we even a high yep. enough rank to fight one? Yep. Yes. 24. Uh, like I said, he hits like a truck, but his armor pieces aren't bad, hey, in my opinion. Okay. I mean, you can still run your old stuff at the moment. That's good, because I don't have any other options. You can use also a ticket for right now, so you have a higher chance of obtaining the tickets from him. To make the armor pieces. You mean the regular reward boosting gives you more? Yep. Get to eat. I did. Nice. Buddha coming back up, or? Yeah, man. Yeah, he's in. He'll just have to join the mission in progress. You can jump back to Area Seven, or if you get dropped off in front, he's in a cave there. Old scratch marks. Uh, 
I come to the open space right now, don't worry. Because fighting in here is really dangerous. Just gonna pick up some of the mats he dropped and I'll be back up there. Like I said, he hits like a truck, you don't know, watch out. Mm, got yeah. hit two times and I'm pretty much dead. So this thing is sufficiently fucking scary. Yep. It is. And he got me right back to camp when I joined. Or tried to join. He doesn't like me. And bet you uh. bye. I didn't refill my fucking items. Oh, fuck barracks. truck well I didn't get knocked out <laughs> <laughs> yeah I bring great shame to my family <laughs> yeah I remember hating this enemy even before he was <laughs> tempered But his weapon and some armor pieces are pretty good. Five star master rank or higher, flying wyvern, tempered monster hunt. Is there a way yeah. to deal with my uh, my kitties here? They came home. Not just managing Palico though, right? You can go to the guy outside, or the kitty outside, he'll allow you to do it. Mm, this kitty here as well. I'm 
But you don't have a kitty since we are free players. Well, no, my kitty's here, but it's my kitty. It's not. It's changing my palico gear. It's not a. Go to your housekeeper on the outside. The one that you got the quest for for the razor sharp. You can also go from inside to the house. Yeah, I was just trying to get used to staying in the gathering hub. The gathering hub, you know, since everything's supposed to be here. Pretty much, yeah. Next up for the fucking murder, everything is here. Oh my god, okay, I unlocked a bunch of shit. Jesus. <laughs> Click the wrong goddamn thing, it's 30 menus. <laughs> So are we going to try the evil Baryoth again, or are we doing something else? We could try the Baryoth again. I say, I leave that to you guys. <laughs> At this I'm point, I'm with you where eager. decorations <laughs> and uh, decorations are coal are the two big thing I'm interested in getting. Yeah, I think I want to farm out some decos. So you don't want to do the frosting berry off at least one time to go maybe get the boots? We can try it. Um, after our last performance, I wasn't super optimistic, but... Nice switch from the bow gun where I'm pretty much dead when he comes to me to the longsword where I have more than enough evasion. I mean, I even could switch to the sword and shield if I really want to. Okay, uh, I'm good to try it one another time. Yeah, let's switch to Sword and Shield, where I have even more defending mm. option. Not like the Bogun, where I just die. <laughs> I hope. That's what us Bogun users do, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. We stick if together on the enough... <laughs> Yeah. And if you don't deal enough damage to knock him out, you just die. The whole fucking time. <laughs> You're joining or not? Hey, you. Dark. Sorry, we get distracted easily. I know, I know. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. He only has 59,000 hit points. Mm, I don't know. Some. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm sorry. Yeah, 53,000. 56. Yeah, what I'm saying is, uh, like you said, size matters.
I should grab some hot drinks as well. Makes life easier, I hear it. <coughs> yeah, I gotta wait for Moki before I go out there. You can Someone go running out around there. in a bikini. <laughs> it seems like they know what they're doing. Nobody holds you off on trying to beat down the fucking dump truck. Frost tank barrier. Off. Eh, but I feel safer in a group. He's looking at me. You'll be frozen solid if you don't get clear. Hurry. That was not fun. See if we can't get it to take a nap, shall we? Sure. It's only 240 points to take a nap, so not as much as you need for it, that's true. Oh, I was outside of that stupid ice range. He's going to bed. So you popping still, Moki, or do you want me to pop it? Pop it. It is to beat on the face and pause enough.
My pinky doesn't like it that I can block his fucking attacks. <clears throat> nah, he does not seem. Whoa! Fuck me, that hurt. Mm Shit. What the fact that he used his can openers on your head? Well, he froze me. I couldn't get away, and then he jumped on me. Yep. That's why I told you he did, hits like a fucking dump truck. Oh, I was within that. No. Kiss the wall. Are you okay? How about we beat him into the next wall? I don't have any healing for the two guys. I used my two life of dust already. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, I, I still bring in regular high potions for. I try and keep my. Uh, Self alive. Potions. You get enough max potions normally from the Steamworks, so. Well, yeah, it's just you can only bring in two. And, um, you can recraft them. That's true. With How big Megan of an area it and does the uh, life potion use? Or not life potions, uh, life powders. Hmm? How big of an area does the life powder cover? Pretty big. Almost this uh, whole fighting area. Unless someone stands really far off, you normally hit him. Which yeah. you aren't supposed to do anyway. Bambaro. That too. 
Spam <laughs> was a Her for? Maybe. And Bar was like, mm, <laughs> I'm taking that nonsense Fuck you. off. <laughs> I'm just here to roll some rocks. Are you really not going to turn for you useless Tuesday? At least he's kinda exhausted. There it is. Now he's turbo. Oh. And that's after I shot Pooh at it. <laughs> Did that bury off just shit on me? Fuck that. This is war. I don't think the Barrioth got a hit in. Oh, hey, there's Evie Odogaron. Isn't that fun? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's right, take on the Odogron too. Turfwar! Actually do damage. Don't be a disappointment like Vampire. Yep, yeah, there we go. We can capture him now when you lose Turfwar. Oh, he's ready to be captured? Yep. There we go. The bikini did it. Yeah, oh. the bikini did it. It's one or two is the way to go. The battle bikini. Frost thing ticket. Yep. You need at least one of those for the armor set. At least for the um, boots. Uh, I gotta take a leak. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a quick toilet errand as well, I guess. Have fun. I'm back. Oi, oi. Oh, fuck me. Hmm. I need one more silver white frost fang. <laughs> Oh, 
don't suppose I can melt that. Yeah, one way to find out. No, I feel better. <sighs> am I muted or am I stupid that nobody answers me? I can <clears throat> hear you. I can hear you now. Okay. I mean, okay. I had to have fun when you went to the bathroom. Sonic thought you didn't actually go to the bathroom, you know, being German and all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, no, I cannot uh, actually make that uh, frost fang. Boots. <laughs> you can or you cannot? I cannot. Why? I, it's not in the list. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> Pretty far down. <laughs> No, no, no. Like, I, I have the recipe, but I'm missing a uh, Berioth Frostfang. <laughs> Sounds like we need to fight another one. Huh? To be fair, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you missing then? Quit your bitching, Buddha. <laughs> what? We help you out 90% of the time, anyways. Watch a missing. Bionix. I'm getting back to the guy. He's missing a fang. Mm. He said. Yeah, it's uh. I am missing a silver white frost fang. Is what I'm missing, and I can't meld it. Yeah. If it was the Wyvern gem, you could have melted it. Nah, I actually got five of those stupid things. I got sixty-one. This isn't a dick measuring contest, Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, he won by like 45 centimeters. <laughs> it's basically a meter, right? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're beating up one more frost tongue very often. I take some traps with me this time to make it a bit easier. I mean, you should be fine, Buddha. You haven't fainted once. Mm hmm. Because I'm awesome. Nor are you playing just the weapon with the most ridiculous evade window. Potato, potato. <laughs> hey, you. That reminds me how many dash shoots I got left in my stupid box. Nah, I'm fine. Uh, I got I to around bring... 5k left. <laughs> so bringing life powder, apparently. <laughs> yeah, dust of life and life powder oh, saves the day sometimes. But dust of life yields more than life powder. Got it. If you bring Mega Nutritions and Mandagoa, you can uh, recraft the Max Potions. Mm. 
Cool. Sorry. Uh, my bad. Bob? I'm, I'm Someone says Bob. <laughs> Amorphous Bob. Hi, yeah. Bob. Hi, Hello, Bob. Bob. <laughs> AFK for a second. You always really? AFK. Now's the time you leave? <laughs> What, you two will be fine. <laughs> sure. Disappointing you guys haven't beaten it yet. I know uh, we're I'm a not allowed to use modded weapons, so why are you crying about <laughs> it? <laughs> I'm bringing a mod. I'm out here. Nice puppy. Good kitty. Good kitty. Thanks for nothing. I would say it's a puppy, but kitty, maybe, I don't know. Ow, Which category goes to stay with two? <laughs> Very bad kitty. In which category was Sabertooth categorized in, in dog or cat? I think it's a feline. I can't remember. Too long ago when I talked about something like that. Then didn't care enough as mm -hmm. well. It came no, up taxonomy will well, fascinate. It's not exactly something that actually gets me too excited. So. Ouch. This temporal mantle makes me look like a badass while it's on. Of course, like you can actually play the statement. game, you mean? Exactly. <laughs> uh, why don't we take a nap there, kitty doggo? I don't Bang know. it into the wall. Or maybe not. He goes into the wall, finally. No, he's Nighty taking night. a nap. I'll let you show off again with the explosion. I'm gonna grab some stones in the meantime. And bring him into the wall again. <laughs> Get 
Get your fat ass back here. Another wall. Yep, he angry. I don't care. <laughs> the second wall he deserved as well. Care for? I don't know. Maybe. Yep. Care for! Okay, don't be useless this time, Bambaro. You think so? You'll probably be useless this time. Whoa! Barry got through a Bambaro at ah, Yep, useless. I pooed the Bambaro, so it'll go away. I mounted the burial. He is not best pleased about that. Who's your vodder? He's going down. Betty. Always nice when I accidentally clear small monster culling. <laughs> I don't even bother with this. Eh, I keep him full just so, you know, shit happens. I understand that they're not super important up. anymore. Oh, balls! Yeah, like I said, I. Clear my stuff out. Mm, not really. I don't care about it because it's not necessary. I'm slightly more interested in it now, but that's more because we're now hitting top tier level up potential, which requires a lot of sears. Mm, which again, I told you how to. Yeah, you know, we know how to farm it now. Gotta be getting close oh, to catch. Yes, come on. No, he's software down. He's a percent of. My spidey sense is wrong. What? And someone died. Yeah, I did. Sure. Wow. Someone died. My vitality as mantle well. is up. You should consider switching the mantle onto the um, other mantles I recommended. No. Well, vitality and temporal are the best I have right now. I don't have rock steady. I don't. I don't remember. Therefore. The yeah, temporal is one of the best. But at once I recommend it anyway. Yeah, no, I have temporal. It's just the other one I use, vitality. <laughs> he jumped right around it. It's moron. The monster you are tracking is leaving the area. I better not. Ebony Odogaron is gone. Screw you guys, I'm going home.
random environment thing. <sighs> that freeze jump combo is rough. Yep. He's not capturable, I just didn't want to yeah, do him jumping around right now. He's still in raid. Now he's gonna slam into a wall. You do you. Or I do it. Doesn't matter. Oh, I was about to. I would just wanted to throw on the mantle. I was feeling scared. <clears throat> Two faints is danger zone. I would laugh if he wouldn't jump around as much as he does right now. Damn it, Zionix! Hey, he froze oh me and jumped on me! Like, there's nothing I can do when that happens. It's fine. We got at least this one left, so if someone dies now, we fucked. Shit, 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 shit. God damn it, Mookie. I'm sorry. He's captured by, by the way. Oh, pound sand, you stupid. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Go back to camp and grab some new traps. I have a trap. I was gonna okay. say Xanax, I'll have it covered. <clears throat> nice. Fuck you, Barrios! <laughs> Someone isn't too happy about him. No, give Xanax what he wants. <laughs> or else I'm gonna kill you again! Right. Capture you again. Yeah, refill yet, Buddha? I'm close.
So this replaces the, the, the Diablo's armlet, but I think I still need another toaster. Um, so which parts are you using from Nagakuga then? Well, so what I have is helmet, skirt, and boots. But if I'm going to use the boots for uh, from Baryoth, then I need to craft the bracers from Nagakuga, and I don't have those yet. Or I need to craft the chest piece from Nagakuga. <laughs> but um, I, it, I'm assuming the toaster chest piece is important to this. Uh, the also chest piece uh, gives you the um, special ammo boost. Yeah. Which I don't Which have Which increases the that. power of stuff. Special ammo dragon PSR and thousand dragons. Well, special ammo boost, does that boost my sticky, or no? It should boost the sticky as well, if I remember correct. Uh... So are we going after TOS Dragon? Uh, if I'm gonna make this build that Moki's suggesting that I need another TOS I'm also gonna need a, another Nagakuga. I mean... You're using then the artillery uh, talisman as well, right? The charm. Well, yeah, oh, you got, got it covered with jewels. No, I'll need the artillery charm. I'm making it now. Fuck, I have to go back and hunt high rank Ganjanath for this. <laughs> you could do it and I get something else with Buddha in the meantime, I guess. I mean, the high rank Ganjanath shouldn't be a problem for you right now. No, he, he's not going to be a problem. It's just in order to get artillery charm too, I need a high rank Ganja. But I still need a master rank toaster, I think. So, Buddha, yeah. what build are you aiming for? Seminar search. I think I've pretty much capped out. Oh, uh, yeah. I've capped out everything just about. So, the only thing I'm cur curious or wanting right now is, well, I guess whichever one's going to be quicker. Either the one that'll get us more uh, decorations, so the Raging Thunder, or. The one that'll give me more coal right now, because I could really. Get, so I guess either way, I want to zi or zingor, zingorg, ogre, zingorg. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We can do the raging thunder. The the raw for thunder descends. I mean. So you guys are gonna get a uh, decos while I go after a high rank Anja. We can also do for the coal for the um, steamworks in the meantime. It doesn't matter for me. Well, I mean, I don't want to miss out on decos, but let's do the regular Zingor then. It should be quicker, and I can straight up use a shit ton of coal right now. You got the quest out already, or I, don't. I got it. 
I just need to change my equipment a little bit. Should I go back to Bogan or on what you want to have me? Hey man, whichever one you feel most comfortable with. Let's use long sword and right now I feel like one round LS would be nice to have in there. But uh, critical draw, is that what you're aiming for? I mean, you have the weapon out pretty much all the time, so... Me? You don't benefit as much from it. If I remember correct. For instance, on the boots. Oh, you want to go to the critical element and frostcraft? Yeah. Well, right now I'm just... I'm in more of an intermediate zone, so... you and you're jumping Don't forget to collect all the shiny seed drops because all of them are coal in this quest, at least. bang him into a wall again. can do it one more time, or not. No, he's fast. Yeah, I saw that smell.
No, you can bang into the wall again. Could you fucking let me sharpen my weapon? <laughs> Sharpening weapon is the siren song, my friend. There we go. Hooray, I finally made it eat the wall. Let me down. Take a gander, Mahal. <laughs> you doing okay with your high rank engine F? Or is it beating you? <laughs> no, I killed it, I just didn't get a fang. <laughs> Kind of annoyed right now. You didn't punch I it in the you face would enough. Be getting beaten by Andrew Neff right now. <laughs> no, I'm not getting beaten. I'm, uh, I guess I am in a in one sense. <laughs> in one way or another, you're still getting beaten if you look into you it. You failed to achieve your objective. So you got beaten. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, 
I, just a sanity check myself. Yes, you are playing poorly. I'm just making sure this asshole, the high rank, does drop it. I'll tell you one thing, Xionix. This guy dropping uh, coal? No joke. <laughs> now you know why I got so many coal. Mm -hmm. In my fucking Steamworks. I did a few dozen times this one, or even gathered in the Guiding Lands just around. can bang him into a wall again after he is done paralyzed if he is still alive to ban. and he's pissed again no he's not he's dead pissed <laughs> pissed to death don't forget to loot him um I guess my optional mission to fight him in the arena is fucking gone. But Buddha got a fuck ton of coal right now. Mm-hmm. All right. Especially once I figure out what the difference between chunk of coal and giant coal is. <laughs> it's a bigger amount of points in the Steamworks. The best you can have is the um, big dragon coal. The big dragon? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I got a couple of giant uh, veins. I got a few more chunks and then the rest are regular, but some tells me the regulars are gonna be just as fine, so. Mm-hmm. And again. I mean, I could be all benevolent shit and, you know, operate my Steamworks while you guys go after, uh, Teostra. You mean high rank engine because he's still on that? <laughs> Yeah. So we can do a second round of Xenogra in the meantime, I guess. If I'm not wrong. Sounds good to me. Probably. So, Buddha, second round? Yeah. Take on a master, Anjanath? No, this is high rank. No. Oh. I thought join also separated. Okay, my bad. <laughs> oh, 
are you chewing on me? <laughs> Why not? I'm like a squeak toy to him right now. Maybe you should consider yourself dealing DPS. Squeak! Stamina. I think we can't turn him anymore. Oh, he rotated just as I shot. Doesn't matter. So this we might be excessive, beating but I up. put him to sleep so I can put bombs on his face. Bang you fucker. What happened? Oh. Apparently I was just dumb. Doesn't sound like something new to me, to be honest. <laughs> I'm the most intelligent person ever, of all time. Until I die. Until someone proves the difference. I know. I hear that some li I hear that line somewhere. And unless it can be proven, it's all made up. You can bang him into a wall again. Yeah. Got my fang. Nice. I had to take a leak. Beer back. It was too far away. I was gonna say, him staying in the center, I figured, was not gonna be good juju. Yeah. Seems like he doesn't want to run into the wall. No. Apparently he's too good for the wall. At least that's what he thinks.
Okay, can be beaten back into the wall. He did catch me out of the air. That's mean. Thank you for the coal, man. <laughs> Most definitely. That's fine. Alright, I'm back. Clack, 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 clack. Nothing I burn up at some point again. I'm just thinking, what was it? End of last week? You're like, oh yeah, no, I got 20,000 coal to burn and... Seems like that would take a goddamn second. <laughs> that was the whole make a sandwich thing. 20,000? That's like, well, no, yeah. that's right. They have it at burn 10 times the rate. Mm, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Which everything else doesn't make sense, to be honest. <clears throat> if you think about it for a second. If you burn 10 coal per turn, it would take hours. Mm. Well, that's part of the reason why when you said 20,000, my brain was like, well, 20,000, yeah, you turn that on, you go to bed and just wake up and it might still be going. No. You still have it pretty much all the time on 10 times the rate. To get somewhere. Yeah. You motherfucker! Stop running away when I'm on my handbreaker part. Piece of shit. Yeah, looks like I need to burn my coal. Why? Because I'm full. Mm, well, you you can't run full coal, unless you have the... over 999,000. No, he's more talking about the natural steam buildup. Yeah. Even dead, I don't care about normally. Well, as somebody I knew once say, nothing tastes better than free. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you will be shocked if you go to the Steamworks now with two runs of Xenogre. Oh yeah, I'm I'm quite sure that's gonna be some some time right there. That's why I used to all the Steam X and go do something in the meantime. It didn't take too long for me to burn through my free shit anyways. No, just 700 points if you have it on 10 times Honestly, the speed, it's just 7 roads. I mean, if so Zenogre is like capturable, I could probably capture right now, I'm assuming. If you wanted to, I don't care. But no, he is not quite there. He needs a bit more beating. I 
mean, I kind of want to now, just if for nothing else. I'm a little curious if capturing will lead to a certain, or a, how big of a difference in a coal return I mean, you, that would be. If you don't capture, you have a bit higher chance of breaking or dropping more uh, shinies. Now you do. Shinies are always good. Yep. And if we can bang them into the wall again. Yep. I had to go grab some stone. Oh, pound sand. Really? Ah. He's still in it. I guess that means a broken tail. You lied to me. <laughs> no, when you asked of capture, he was a bit too high. After Ow. we walked him into the wall, he was low enough. I just wasn't gonna tell you. <laughs> no. You never asked how close we are to capture. You just asked if he oh. was ready. No, part of me was thinking he was ready after slamming into the wall. And the only reason I was thinking to capture, well, Two reasons I was thinking capture. A, I'm curious how big of a difference it is in uh, coal return. And B, you know, finish off so we can go take on Teostra. I guess got less coal, but I got more chunks, so. Oh, hello, little one. No, how much coal did you get? I bet around 40k. You bet yeah, around 40k? Uh, I think he said he's around 40k. Oh, I, I thought that he said a bet. I was like, wait, what? No. Nah, not quite. So, I got... 3k. Six giant chunks, <coughs> nine... Or, six giant, nine chunks, 67 coal, and one shard. So, I have my artillery three gem now. Or, nice. or necklace. That's nice. Just had to. So have the only thing left would be the um, Geo Star chest piece for you, right? Uh, yes, and I think I have to hunt a, a master Narcacuga. No. No, I think I do have to hunt a, a Narcacuga because. For what? Uh, uh, oh, it's for the braces. Yeah, right. I'll double check real quick. It's, uh...
Yeah, no, it's the skirt I actually need. But yeah, I need a, a Nagakuga and a toaster. Which one are we finding first, the Nagakuga or the Teostra? I... Either or. Teostra. Buddha wants a toaster. Well, it's not that I want a toaster, it's that I'm pretty much prepped for a toaster. I don't want to fuck with it right now. <laughs> Alright. Toast us up. Should I stay on Longsword or should I switch back up to the bowgun? Dude, if you decide to switch to the hunting horn, go for it. <laughs> So you don't care at all? Yeah, I mean, I don't. play whatever you want to play, man. I mean, maybe you want to see some other weapon from me. I don't know. I mean, I got a pretty variety. I want to see the gun lance. I haven't no. seen that. <laughs> no <laughs> lance and no Whoa, 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 whoa. You're, you're sitting here. Okay, so what are the approved weapon lists from the German? <laughs> The only weapons I don't play is lances and hunting horn. Oh, I thought the hunting horn was the only one that was the standout. No, the lances I don't like either. They, not my great type. Sword. I right. don't have a hammer. build up right great now, hammer. but I could, I could put a build up, I guess. Eh, for, toaster's uh, already wrecked us once tonight, but let's stick to something you already have ready to go. I can put up a bit, I guess, for a uh, great sword. Have you used the great sword? Mm, a long time ago, but yeah. No, I changed my mind. I wanted the hammer. Because you keep talking about keep that bitch knocked out, and I want that thing on the floor for 90%. Let the body hit the floor. My hammer need one more upgrade from Fatalis, but <laughs> of course. We're oh, totally sure, we can we can we can take on a fatty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is my slugger? Uh, 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 uh. There. Buenos dias. Um. So with what I have, I can <coughs> get up to 17,000 fuel. Well, at 100x, you could probably burn that while we're hunting Nargakuga. Oh shit, I had to do something to shift it to... Yeah. Damn it. How do you switch to uh, the 10x? Uh, you need to stop your run. And How do start you stop over. Uh, so if you don't have finished the run, you should just keep going. Well, I didn't use any fuel. I was just going to quick burn this, but. Oh, you're just burning your. Okay. Yeah, so I'm before you the start, natural. there's a option at the very bottom. It's like adjust output or input or whatever, and then you can Got it. set up your. Yeah, no, I figured uh, Mookie was gonna be just 
relatively quick, so it's just like, oh, I'll just burn this real quick. It should take us a couple of seconds. No, I'm almost I'd done. Auto change. Don't worry about it. Well, that's why I was figuring <laughs> you're almost done, in which case, I do this. Ah, uh, the steam tickets I could have had. Logger's all the way up there. No, I need critical boost. But yeah, no, those giant uh, chunks give you a thousand apiece. I don't have that much coal. Okay, it should be at least somewhat decent right now. So what are the steel and si uh, steel and silver tickets used for, anyways? Uh, the steel and silver tickets you can make decorations on the gilding alchemy. Ah, uh, okay. I just barely unlocked guild alchemy. You might have it, uh, Buddha. I'm not sure. You just have to select any stuff on steam that you want to be a group of like monster Hunter or whatever i mean there is enough options to be part of any group you want i don't remember selecting being part of a group but you know you can go under uh Escape information primary group and then select something that you're already following. Then guild and then, alchemy? Then, yeah. Then you get guild alchemy as well. If you don't have it already. Guess I don't have it. Like I said, you just have to wrong. select some I'm looking at your uh, screen. You do have Guild Alchemy. Yeah, no, I have it, and I clicked on it, but I can't select anything, so... You should be able to if you have uh, steel and silver melding tickets. Like yeah, I, I can do those, but you're saying so... Yeah, do those. Then you get yeah, druids. No, I'm, well, I, it sounded like you're like, I could select some like subgroup, like, oh, you <clears> can select, you know, speed or something like that. That's where I was no, being no, no. Okay. That was me misunderstanding. If you go into the Guild Alchemy and met on the tickets, you get druids. Yeah. And then it's random what druids you get. The steel gives you up to level 3 druids. The silver pretty much the same. But has a, li a low quality chance of giving you a dru druid uh, yeah. uh, or slot jewel. And the gold and the uh, astral tickets gives you only plus four jewels. Got it. 
I do not. I did not get an Omni, so. Okay, I challenge you to an yeah. arm wrestling match. You know he has a script, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember which button it was. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! I am really happy about winning this. <laughs> So, before we do anything... Where's the... Did you both lose? Yep. You both suck, I win as the spectator. <laughs> oh, here's the blacksmith. Uh, Everyone waiting for Buddha. Naturally. I can't help it. Y'all were arm wrestling. <laughs> I don't care who has the bigger tits. Let's go. It's probably easier to do with a controller than it is on keyboard yes. and mouse. Yes. Yes, it is. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, we're going for the bigs again. Let's see if Xanox can make up the difference. Oh, my gear is the same. I, I haven't... Well, we're doing the 20-minute one that we constantly seem to fail, so... We only failed it once. Twice. I, no, I think we only failed this mission once. Go home, Xanax, you're drunk. Mm, Buddha was the reason we failed. Yeah, I always want. I'm sorry, Mookie. How many times did you get knocked? Oh, that's sad. Wee. Nobody here is bitter at all. Mm-hmm. It's our chance for a redemption. Why do I never get the free fucking meal with the ar or mega armor drug? Maybe you don't deserve it. I guess not. <laughs> I always get the free attack, or not always, but frequently get the free attack, but when it comes to defense, it's like, mm, no. I mean, it's not like you're hurting for stuff, I guess. Well, I was, but I've recently fixed that issue. <laughs> It was actually kind of the reason why it's like, yeah, let's go for coal. coal. I want to not have to worry about our goddamn, or my goddamn demon and armor drugs anymore because I was getting goddamn low. Yeah, I'm not doing super great. Slammed into the wall. 
Yeah, you can. <clears throat> uh, he bit me in midair. Why didn't you bonk him into the wall? Because every time I grabbed on, he blinked me off. Yeah, kind of like that. After you, Buddha. Ah, I saw. What the fuck up, Teal Straw? I'm happy when I upgrade this hammer to do more damage. I feel kind of low. <clears throat> I mean, eventually we might be able to take on a fatty with you. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's probably just me being stupid. But I feel like they could be getting out more than just 630 hits. Oh, damn it, now it's out of stamina. Eat the wall. Ah, uh, hitting the wall looks painful. I would bet that it is. Speaking from someone who totally hasn't hit the wall before, it, it hurts. Oh, fuck you. Whoa! Well, Doc's been knocked out. <laughs> I was full health for that, too.
not gonna lie, I've been doing the whole uh, veggie platter or whatever for the large elemental resistance. Yeah, you could just throw in one hard element resist jewel and get like 25 fire defense. Still need to look for better. Well, I still need to look for better, better jewels because most of my shit is shit. Yeah, no, my jewels are meh. There we go again. And time for the siren sound. Why don't you take a nap there, Toaster? You look tired. Ah, no. <laughs> That's burning, not tired. I put him down. I took him down again. But yeah, it seems like we're missing a bit of damage. I mean, we got 10 minutes left and we have 50% health He's left. Going to bed. We have how much left? 50%. Around 50% and we have 10 minutes. So we're at the halfway point and we need to do half the damage. Damn. You're gonna wake him up and I bang him into the wall right after. Roger, waking. He goes to the wide open area. Head not.
Come on, T. Austria. You're getting a little tired. You don't want to be angry anymore. Just as I hit the attack button. Fuck off, you cheating game. I got cheated on that. Okay. minute mark no I just heard uh, something in discord where it was like connect and disconnect simultaneously I didn't notice anything huh? we can drop the stuff from up above on him if you don't mess it up that's a strong hit there <laughs> That wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't me. He would come over here just a bit more. Finally. That connect? Yep. So we got at least one of them. Yeah. Now it's close to death now. Yep. 10k. So grabbing new barrel bombs when he goes to sleep. Yeah. Definitely worth the trip to grab the barrel bombs. It will be close though. Gonna be a photo finish, gentlemen. Yep. Well, I was gonna say be quickly or about it, but I guess I was the slow one, so. Don't forget to uh, uh, rework your cold drink and then go. Rework what? 
Core drink. Core drink. Oh, yeah. That was always a bombs. Knocked him out. Yep. What? I couldn't get out. <sighs> oh, close. <clears throat> but I didn't notice someone faint other than uh... me. Well, yeah, but only faint. once. Only one time someone fainted. Where am I wrong right now? Well, I fainted, Buddha fainted. Ah, oh. um, oh, okay. So, I guess all of us fainted once on that one. I tell you what, I mean, I could probably go for some more Teostra, but I'll let you two go and I'll fuck off for while you're doing that. No, it's fine. I switch weapon. I go in with sword and shoot right now again. I mean, I did way less damage than before with the hammer because it isn't upgraded as much. That's all right. Just more evidence that we were punching above our weight class. I mean, the one thing I do find amusing, though, is it seems like none of us got knocked out too quickly. No, we all did fairly well. I mean, all the knockouts were kind of bullshit, really. Mm-hmm. Just bad luck. I'll take that elemental res up since we're fighting Toaster again. Buenos dias. Did I eat? I don't know. No, I did not. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? Oh, you kind of backed away, man. Come on. Where's that 20 minute one? Or is it gone now? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I can look up if I got another 20 minute one. But it doesn't really matter, it's just one more. No, reward. it's just that we've always failed the 20 minute one, and that's where it's like, okay, I'm gonna switch up. I mean, you can this look is a up 20 if minute you have one. the same one. Oh, it is it? Yeah, this is 20 minutes. Oh. Sorry, I, I saw it go to Wildspire, so it's just like I thought he went back to a 50. No, no. It should be still a 20 minute mark. If I'm not wrong. No, it's still 20 minutes. Yep. Still roger, 20 roger. Just, My apologies. Just I don't just have the map one bronze uh, reward, which the other one uh, does. So it's one less reward down there. <coughs> but the timing is the same. Just the different location. <laughs> you running away from Toaster? Oh, I'm just gonna go get my items from the box. But yes, I am running away from Toaster. Up here, yeah. We're scared, man. I 
I'm still using the the free potions when I can. Of course, the thing I need to do now to be a good ally is keep an eye out so I could, or when to use the life dust. I've been trying to bring them, but I almost never use them, so. Adjustments, adjustments. That's fine. Just something I wanted to mention on the way, so you maybe get a better hunter at some point on the life. Damn it. I mean, the same goes for every other monster hunter where you can play, so... If you see someone is in trouble or isn't as healthy as it should be, you can always throw a dust of life in there. So what are you aiming for, Psyonix? Uh, I think I just need a tail, because I... Pretty sure I needed a fell wing and a tail, and I think I got the fell wing last time from uh, random shinies. Oh, ass. come on! Throw her to the face. Donix now, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, I got the Maillard reaction going on on my fucking nose. Put your help, Loki. Who, <laughs> me? Well, you were low a second there, for a second there. Yeah, but I put another mental up at the, at that moment, and yep. so it wasn't as bad as it may look like. I just I gotta try and pay attention to others' health. That's nice. So you want to improve? <laughs> Yes, I, I do actually want to improve. <laughs> well... Oh, what, what the hell was that? Psychic fire attack, I guess. Oh, right. Uh. I remembered something which I could bring as well to make our lives a bit easier. <clears throat> mm. Flash pots. That's true. I haven't been bringing those. I haven't been bringing them either. That's fine. I grabbed a few of them. Bye. Get going, you big fuckhead. Starting to put down some sleep. <laughs> Who need the same mod you put in right now? Sand. You didn't bring bombs? No, I brought I brought bombs. My fucking controller decided to disconnect at that moment. Oh. 
Me good. Hey, okay. shoot, shoot, shoot. Eh, a little close on that one. I forget, Zonx. Did you have a spare USB hub? Um, I Malted. don't think so. Yeah. Fucker ran off when you mounted it. Hey, he's cruising through the board, I guess. I was gonna say, didn't he bring flash pots? Well, he mounted it. Oh, got it. But now the super is down again. He is down again. Quit your belly aching toaster. I still wish I understood what the mechanics fo were for it stunned and how long it stunned. Like that still seems uh, to be a bit of a mystery for me. <clears throat> if you have the under pie up of my screen, you would notice that it's a barrel that fills up every time you hit it with an attack that stuns. For instance, the Sticky bombs, when they explode, they do stun damage. When I hit them with my shield, it do stun damage. So, and you have to um, hit a certain threshold on damage of that certain attack before it gets applied. For no, instance, and I get you that, have... but it's like, how long does it stay stunned? Because sometimes it seems um, like it Depending on the stunned. monster and if it's enraged or not, if it's exhausted or not. That's all factors that goes into it. If it's a Elder Dragon not exhausted and enraged, it doesn't stay down long. For instance, Enrage Ank doesn't stay long at all. So, um, Teosra normally is knocked down for around 7 seconds. So we at the halfway mark? Yep. And we have 30%, uh, 38%. I have left 47%, I'm sorry. Alright, so we're on track then. That's yeah, we're on track. We're good, DPS-wise right now. Nice. 
34. Yeah, I'm good. I just we hit that 10 minute mark, and I was just making sure we weren't in trouble like we were weapon. last time. Yeah, no. Like I said, my hammer isn't upgraded where it's supposed to be right now because I'm missing some evil eyes from Fatalis, which I didn't feel like doing at the moment. I've done enough fatalities in the last few days and didn't want to bother again with him. I mean, you've done enough fatalities without getting the eyes, apparently. <laughs> no, I did a bunch of stuff. I uh, uh, bought slash forged a greatsword. Shut the fuck up. Oh, nice done. He did come back down, but not like I wanted to. Oh, I think I... Br ah, I cut his tail! Oh, fucking hell. I'm staying on top of it, Zionix. I see where it is. Um, it's going down anyways. Well, I need that sash for the chest piece. Slash. I'm staying on top of it, though. <laughs> Stamina. Grabbing Ready? new barrel bombs on the way and some new flash box. Yeah, no, I got barrel bombs too, but that are you coming, flash or what are you doing? I guess I took the wrong goddamn way. You just could have gotten into the fucking camp again. No, no, well, I want you the, wanted the, the lash. tail. Hellfire shard. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Here I go, cutting off its goddamn tail. You didn't even cut off its tail. <laughs> yes, I did. Not according to my fucking cutting. Well, according to my cutting, but you just don't know how to cut properly, so uh, I guess we'll give work. you the Zionics pass. You're adorable, though, for trying. I'll give you that. Cutting is hard. Have you ever skinned anything? It's fucking dangerous. Nope. Of course, I did know one guy. He was, I mean, this was back in like fifth grade when he was telling me it, though, so obviously years ago. Pop. He was saying that. He, huh? Pop. Shoot. Uh, Buddha wasn't here, but I didn't want to wait for him to wait out. He would have woken up many times pretty soon anyway, so... Focus face. Well, here's hoping you've leveled up your Palico, though, because I think you still get a little bit of love for the whole, uh... 
under a blade even at this point. Slash, blast. Give me your you ash. Me. Elder mm. Dragon Gem. Large. <laughs> Toaster Gem. Got my Cortex at least. Okay, if he doesn't have it, I'll literally let you carry him this time, Mookie, and I'll just sit on the wayside. Get this done. PDQ. <laughs> And my luck has uh, not been great tonight. Get refill yet, Buddha? I'm close. We'll find out how much it matters when error at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> There's some days I fucking hate you. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, any day that ends in a Y. <laughs> Hey, I got a tail. I got two tails. <laughs> I got four gems. Three times in the silver boxes, large elder dragon gem. I got two gems and two wings. The fuck is going on? I'm not hearing you? from Zionic, so that means he did, I did not. not get my tail. Okay. Mookie, you must help the Zionix. Apparently, he's <laughs> on life support. I will, I will. What the fuck is going bow on? Bow out, because I mean... apparently the luck of the Zionix is on life support. <laughs> I mean, fucking free gems for me, all large Elder Dragon gems in one quest. Come on, game. That's a bit much. Ah, uh, Zionix, I'd pat you on the head right now if I could. <laughs> it's all right. You're special. Somebody loves you. Apparently not this game, but somebody the loves The game me. doesn't love me. Uh, I'm gonna go take a leak out of frustration. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't angry pee! <laughs> Don't rip off your dick while you're on it. I was gonna say, seriously, you're gonna do some wild... <laughs> <laughs> ah, poor Sionix. <laughs> yep. So you want to bail out and do something else in the meantime? Yeah, well, honestly, right now, the I'm going to, well, since he's taking a piss, it's not going to take as long, but I have to take care of my cats real quick just to get some of the other random shit that I want. Do you even you, or do uh, the... Tail Rider Safari anymore, or is that for the most part useless for you? Every now and then I do it, but uh, it's kind of just sure. Most of the time I don't do it. Oftentimes they sit there and waiting and waiting and waiting. See, right now is one of those things that pisses me off, because, like, actually, that'll be some I'll do while you guys are doing your mission. I yeah, quite they really long, need low long rank uh, Tobies. And I was gonna send out my Safari for a low rank Toby, but apparently there aren't any. I have them on Guiding Lands all the time. Well, I need the low rank ones though, because I what need to. That? I'm trying to work up one of the last weapons I saw as a suggestion. And the gate card uh, I sent you to go receive my Pelico every now and then, right? Say again? Uh, if you get the gate card from other hunters, you get 
access to their Palicos for the research for the Tail Raiders. Oh safari. yeah, yeah, no, I've I, I've been having some maxed out Palicos for the mission, so yeah, no, I've I've been using those quite frequently. But yeah, they're uh, even though there's almost no enemies weak to dragon attack, it's like quite literally the well, second to last weapon I need to work up. And the only thing that's in my way right now is the fact that I don't have uh uh I mean the level. next uh you're playing dual blades, right? Then the Alatron weapon will become in handy for you really. Which I one? can show them to you if you wanted to. Which weapon? Mm. This one, Alatrion. Alatrion? Mm -hmm. mm. You can see it in my screen right now. Um, oh, God damn it, that's right. That leads to issues. Give me a sec. <laughs> 510 dragon damage. That's. That leads That's to crazy. the elect. Then look at the purple sharpness bar. Yeah, no, oh. that's... Oh, that. And I saw the 510 dragon, too, but what are, what's the tree that leads to the uh, electron? Or is that one of those... Uh... That's one of the special assignments you have to do either way in a few uh -huh. moments. You know, since we fought in Toaster successfully multiple times, I wouldn't be upset if a <clears throat> modded weapon... Have to be <laughs> in somebody's hands. Hey, hey, hey. bitch out. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Both of you got like six tails. Fuck off. <laughs> I even cut off a tail for you. I can't help it, you suck. <laughs> so you just want to be done with it. it I seems just like. want to be done with it, yeah. Alright. So are you sure you wanted bitch. me to use the stupid weapons? <clears throat> I'm not gonna say one way or the other. I just I wouldn't be upset if somebody straight up said one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna use it. Make sure you Woe drop out to the Zionics. Woe to the Zionics. Make sure I drop off what? Camp 15. Yeah. Well, it's a two-player investigation. Time, I'm gonna just go use my rewards. Steam. Shame to yourself. <laughs> I'm not. I have no shame. I figured out how to cut his tail correctly. <laughs> so I got my lash, so I'm happy. It just was leg on Buddha. He was denying your luck. Apparently, having Buddha around is bad luck for me. He won't even refill my drink. I'm about to. I set up my steam run. Wait a minute, it's your turn. No, it's not. I did the last one. You d we did double tequila for some random reason? Yeah. Because I felt like it.
Apparently, the Daniels of Jax does not speak to the Xanax. Yeah, I just felt like doing tequila for my first refill. There That's you go. a disgusting weapon you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even the strongest one out there for the modded versions. That is disgusting, you know. That's not even the strongest one, and even this one is way too strong. <laughs> well, I should. I think I have my lash, so now I just need a Nargakuga to finish it off. You might want to keep your modern weapon on for this. <laughs> <laughs> Nagakuga should be easy street compared to Toaster. Uh huh. That's what she said before she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a black joke or not. <laughs> that was uh, next by the by. <laughs> I, I embrace it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Especially when you're a gentleman, y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I switch back to normal weapons. Mm. Well, now I'm down to four thousand out of what was it, seven or sixteen thousand? <clears throat> oh. uh, do I have a fucking auto Garen? Yes, I have. Don't forget to upgrade the pieces. Yeah, I just don't have very many um, uh, armor spheres. I'm gonna need to farm out some armor spheres. Okay, then we know what we do next, I guess. Yeah, so uh, as far as this Nargakuga is concerned, I think I need a, a fell wing and a mantle, but I can obviously craft the mantle or meld the mantle. <laughs> Um, you're muted. The secret answer to 90% of the things is Melder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Alright, so. I'm sorry. I need a Nargakuga cut wing and a mantle. So if I can get the mantle, great, but I really just need the cut wing. Nargakuga? Yeah. So, just as a random, which will only surprise the Onyx, I got 90 gourmet vouchers out of that, mm. along with 20 king armor spheres, apparently. Yep. Nagakuga, <laughs> where do we have it? Uh, I have a one gold, three, two silver, and a bronze Nargakuga. Nargakuga and Legiana, three gold, two silver. That's all I got handy for Nargakuga. Am I stupid? I mean... 
Maybe. Probably, but... Nagakuga, there we are. Hunter Nagakuga. Two players. Uh, one faint Go only. Two players. Go for it. Two gold, okay. two silver, one bronze. <coughs> Alright, that should be fine. Yep. Nagakuge, Nagakuge. I got too many investigations. Toaster, Kirin, Seaving, uh, Ruffalos, Autogaron, Nagakuga. There we go. Uh, uh, go up to camp 12, I don't know. I don't know. Camp 12 sounds delightful. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds a lot like my song. Sometimes he spawns further up, so sometimes he spawns further down. Looks like he spawned further down this time. I got his blown off course and where the tits he likes to play. Mm, I would guess then you're pretty much <laughs> there by the Nugget yeah. Well. <laughs> mm, should I bring the Devil Joe over to play? Of course you should. Devil Joe, you big meathead, come over here. Pickle! Come here! Uh, especially if it's savage. It is savage. Ah, the savage devil a ho. Everyone loves a spicy pickle. <laughs> Uh, my my went very dirty on that one. Of course, I don't know why you want to put Sriracha there. <laughs> Everybody's screaming at that point. <laughs> <laughs> the picker didn't want to come over to play with me and Nagakuga together. That's what she's... Phrasing, boom. Remember Nagakuga always having red eyes, but Well sometimes it's Ein, sometimes it's a uh, Pandora's mask. Or Pandora's actor. How many people are gonna get that reference? Don't care if they do. <laughs> Riding. We're all about the esoteric references, that's all I care about.
Stun, paralyzed, stun. <laughs> and we can bang him into a wall when he stands up. You're bitching. Oh, high rank Toby Gold. Seems to be bad. No, yeah, Red Hawk is bad. I don't know why, but he is. It's those red eyes. Smoke too much weed. Wait, no, that 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 would be the exact opposite problem. David Joe. For? He get he get slapped from like two. Could be I don't know, but up to now there isn't a top row between them. Yeah, no, they're just kind of being stupid, playing around with each other. Thankfully, Devil Pickle doesn't need a turf war to do damage. He buried me into the ground and killed me. Almost. I was about to say, we only got one fate, man. Come on. <laughs> I do hate pickles. Well, I like pickles in real life, but I hate these pickles. He would hate spikes and pickles. Don't be stupid, Mouse. That's the Mount's first job. I can't remember I have to capture or kill. Um I can catch him. Because he would be capturable. <coughs> nice. Fuck off, that's cheating. What is cheating? Oh, the Toby, he did his initial scream. And then of course he gets a second scream that wrecked my ability to slam him into a wall. <coughs> Got my cut wing. No mantle, but that's all right. Otherwise, we just have to do it again. No, that gives me all the equipment I need. So the 
next step would be getting mm. some more atmospheres, I guess. Brand new brood coming up. Wow, an attack that doesn't take half my life. I feel like a god. <laughs> How's your gear holding up? <clears throat> Guess it doesn't matter. Mm. Um, Buddha, you want to take part in the atmosphere something? Yeah, I'm quite literally about to kill this thing, so just give me a minute or two. Give me 60 seconds. So what are we going after next? Uh, Tigrix. Come on, give me a large wyvern gem. No, not a light, large. I just want a regular wyvern. T-Rex, right? Hmm? You brute said T-Rex, right? Yeah, the brute Tigrex. Not a normal Tigrex. God damn it, I didn't get the gem. If only there was a big pot you could go to that would help you get gems you needed. <laughs> Pound sand. You didn't get your tail <laughs> quick enough. No, I did not. Besides, actually, that was the problem. Is you, I need a uh, silver. Uh, I need silver tickets or what have you. So should I be scared of Brute Tigrex, or is he just kind of like a, a kitty? Screams a lot. But <coughs> otherwise... He hits less like a truck than for string Barry of did, so... He should be easier to deal with for you. Especially if you're wearing the new set 
where you stun him all the time or way more often and don't forget to set up the bowgun right uh i had changed over my gear but i can do that real quick i guess you know you can uh save the armor you put on yeah to no, save the set And I do not know what's required for the final master charm still. For what? The pendant? The final upgrade. For oh, the critical eye? Yeah. Guiding lens. I was gonna say, I see a Dogaran mantle and question mark, question mark, so. So what's recommended for this Rajang barrage? Two evading reloads and what else? What? So, you want me to switch over to the Rajang uh, barrage, yeah, to reload and uh, to recoil, I think, was it? Uh, two recoils only gets me down to high. I need three recoils to get down to average so I can uh, move while shooting. You shoot, you evade, you shoot, you evade, you shoot, you evade. Well, I'm just saying, like, I need, uh, three, uh, recoils to get down to average recoil so I can move and shoot at the same time. You don't need that. You evade, and then you shoot, then you evade, then you shoot, you evade, then you shoot. Pretty much repeatedly. Yeah, man. Evade, shoot, evade, shoot. Because I, if I remember correctly, you need because at least I've... two recall uh, reloads to reload all the sticky free ammo. You can. Well, yeah. So it's shoot. two evading reload, but the uh, the recoil suppressor. I need at least three to get down to average, so I can shoot while moving. Um. Oh, yeah, no, but I, you only I, I, but I with two, it, you yeah. can still shoot quite decent without going up into the sky with your aiming, so. Yeah, no, I, I see it. I'm, I was being dumb. Dumb, dumb, so... dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> Shut up. Blast nuts and the. Uh, um. Powder to recraft it, and then sticky one to free everything in your pouch, so you can recraft it on the fly, which explains itself. Yeah. So and now you shouldn't even need decorations for dealing quite a decent amount of damage. I mean, you can buff it up with attack boost and such. But remember the normal uh, first hit for critical eye and such is pretty useless, so you don't need it at all. <clears throat> so critical eye doesn't matter. No, the affinity doesn't matter. I mean, it's the explosion what matters. So getting the raw damage up would be kind of neat for you as much as you can. So, okay. attack boost, coalescence maybe, for instance, after you remove the blight you get a d damage boost as well. Peak performance if you don't get hit. There are many <laughs> options to get your damage increase.
You can also go on to, uh, but you don't have the secret, right? For more slugger than three points. No, I I don't have a slugger secret or whatever. I don't even have a slugger gems right now. I'm just kind of filling out what I can. Uh, you can put fortify into it, so you get an attack and defense buff after you died. I don't like to plan on dying. <laughs> but if you do, you get a fucking DPS increase. So that is true. What you crying about? I'm crying because I don't want to die. <laughs> but happens. It happens. From time to time, it happens that you die. That and if true. it happens, it doesn't matter because you get more DPS and defense anyway. Uh. Otherwise, you could put in... Uh, the vitality as well, and you could put in the protection to have at least some chances of reducing the damage. If you don't want to go full out DPS, you can also put in evade extender or flinch free. I do have a flinch free in already. Yeah, you only need one flinch free to not get bothered from anyone yeah. else. Which doesn't apply to dual blades, as long as you're in demon mode, by the way, Buddha. Say again? Flinch free, where you don't get staggered from anyone, doesn't apply to dual blades, pretty much does not oh that's good to know <laughs> no as long as you're in demon mode you don't get staggered anyway right. so what did you <laughs> get on Zionix? you have brace one point you have steadfast yeah um, did you got one point freemium maybe? Do not use your items that you consume, like yeah. potions and such. Uh, evade extender maybe, or evade window, or protection if you want to. I guess attack boost is always good. Yeah. Sure. Slinger capacity attack boost you can use as well. Then you have some stones left over to sling it into the wall again after it stands up. If you clutch claw into it again. Okay. This is all just like picking the least amount of garbage that I have in my inventory, really, at this point, but... You will see that the set does pretty decent or pretty good damage without even putting gems into it. Fair enough. Like I said, now you can choose between Pest and Cholera, so doing some uh, jumping druids in there so you move faster when you evade and have a higher distance you evade or maybe I'm something not sure else. I have a low level evade jewel. It's a two slot at least. Yeah, no, oh, jumping, oh, evade extender. You're right, okay, fair enough. That, that's probably a good call. Yep. Because the average sticky will move will move you pretty far away if you keep on shooting. So maybe e evading a bit further doesn't do bad.
you can uh, save the set and you could also save the item in your item box for a yeah, sticky boot. So the gunpowder 2 won't do me any good. I want gunpowder 3 for this. You can use both, I guess. Or bring both. Well, gunpowder, uh, I guess I, I can bring gunpowder 2, but um, the, the gunpowder 2. The gunpowder 2 is for the sticky ammo nation, sticky 2. Which you and need the sticky as well. two is stupid slow. Like it, it's a single shot. Even though it has a two round capacity, it uh... yeah. But uh, if you run out of sticky three, which you will do at some point, you can shoot with sticky two, which does more damage than sticky one. Yeah. If you think about it. <clears throat> so bringing both never hurts. The blast nuts and the ammunition as well. And yeah. if you can shoot something else with the cannon, you can bring it as well, but I don't think the cannon has much options what it can shoot. No, it really it. doesn't. Mm, it can still shoot paralysis if I see it correct. Yeah, paralysis uh, two, not paralysis one. Yeah, but level two paralysis is better than level one. Yeah, no, it, it is. And then again. you just bring all the r normal stuff you bring, any yeah. other weapon type or any other quest anyway, so. Both gunpowder, blast nuts. Got my blast uh, nuts. Got gunpowder two and three. You can fill up your inventory. Are you gonna need with... like five more minutes or something? No, not really. I mean, it's just him putting the stuff in his inventory, pretty much, and saving it as yeah. well. So I want to bring sticky one for. You bring all the stinky yeah. ammunition types with you, you and the stuff to recraft them. Yeah, the yeah. So I bring sticky one, even though I can't use sticky one, I use it to make... Uh, yeah, you use it up to yeah. make sticky two and sticky three. Yeah. If you can't make any more sticky three ammunition, you move over to sticky two. And if you yeah. can't... You uh, make any more sticky two ammunition, and the monster is still not dead. You use uh, the um, teleporter and get back out the far caster and refill up your inventory and then get back into it with sticky three, then sticky two. All right. You don't need to spread if I'm correct. I probably don't. I just like I have a I have the room open, so it's kind of like keeping it just. You in case. got the sticky ammunition one, two, and three in there. Well, sticky one and two. You uh, uh, can also put the three in there. Sticky three, you can also put in there. If you don't have it, you can buy it, I think. Yeah, I don't think I actually it. have Sticky 3, but... It's Gunpowder 3 and uh, Sticky 1 ammunition. I think you can buy it as well here next to it. I can buy sticky one and two, I can't buy three. Okay, but you can stack up on those and just uh, use the gunpowder and the sticky ammunition to make the sticky free. Yeah. I don't know, can you buy a gunpowder as well? Uh, yeah, I can buy the gunpowder. Yeah, then stack up on gunpowder as well, I guess. 
I mean, I even bring uh, the stuff to make gunpowder with me. If it comes hard to hard to make more. If he doesn't, didn't have stacked it up. What you doing, Buddha? I'm going to kill... Well, I guess these are Popos. I want to kill Babaos. Did it are those the <coughs> spears? Oh, they're the ones with the spears? Yeah. Sorry. Takes me a second to put together a new build. No worries. You stacked them on Sticky 2 as well, right? Yeah. Um... I don't know if uh, Sticky went into. Then you can craft up the free, I guess. Then take it up as well. If you didn't. Yeah, I need to. Sticky <coughs> went two and three. Bulb blast nets, gunpowder, two and three. That's the normal stuff you use all the time. Mm. Like medical herb, max potions, the stuff to craft, max potions, honey, normal potions. I don't know what you are, it's mega demon drugs or normal demon drugs. Well, I'm still, I'm at normal demon drugs, I use. Normal, I'm still using because I don't have a shit ton of uh, um, medding. Yeah, <laughs> basically, I, I don't have the I, I don't have all the goodies to craft an absurd amount of mega demon drugs yet. So, well, but if I mean, you look at it, there are some that have more return rate right now, and some of them are bones, which you should have a fair amount of. Yep. Otherwise, the steam tickets, which you get in abundance. Yeah, no, no, I, I get that. I just, I, I don't, I didn't farm out the coal like you guys did, so. No, I'm, I'm saying even low. minus the coal. Honestly, I was able to get some like 21 take or 21 demon drugs a piece without the coal. Well, yeah, the, without you the coal. You just have to turn in some of the bones you get from the stuff or the out of yeah, the we're, guidance. We're, we're in the middle of a special event, so it keeps shifting around. So if you look right now, you're going to probably have some, like, uh, bones that are worth double the amount. The ones that are sort of golden. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bones you get out of the Guiding Lands, often. So, yeah, no, if you have any that are, you know, I had a couple that were like 120, so I spent 40 on one, 40 on the other. Okay, so I, I thought you, you the steam tickets is large. Oh, the steam you tickets use. are the best, but you can augment right now because we're at the point where if you're not using the megas, you're I mean, you, you could still get away with not, or it's still preferable to use the not megas, but it it's better to use megas. Yeah, the difference is, uh, I can't remember, but I think the Mega Demon Drugs gives like 25 points and the normal Demon Drug gives, uh, gives like 15 or so. It wasn't much difference, but it was a noticeable difference. Especially if you uh, eat a Might Seed as well, you get a pretty decent boost. Because you can stack them up e against each other. The de Mega Demon Drag plus uh, and the normal seeds. 
to get the maximum amount of DPS out. Gotcha. Uh, Buddha, did you also got your dash juice for your dual blades back up if you needed it? I'm still doing pretty well on the dash juice. I mean, I'm not at an absurd amount, but yeah, <coughs> I, I'm, I'm still. You mean much not not juice. like me, like having a few thousand lying around all the time? Um, why would I be jealous about that, dude? I don't know. It's nothing to be jealous about. Hey, that's it. You know, you got a few thousand. Uh, the one I was kind of jealous about was the mega drugs, but after that run and because of the event, I I got a temporary fix, so I, I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, and if you grind out the guiding lands, you get enough bones usually to keep doing it. Yeah. And the further you move down the special assignment path, the stronger you get pretty much. And the more you fuck up every monster in the least amount of time. And that's mm -hmm. what Monster Hunter is all about. To get oh. ans quicker then. Apparently I don't know where to find the Bow Bowers or whatever, so... Mm, usually around Camp 7, in the mid of the map. No, I ran through there and I didn't find fuck all, but... I'm pulling back, I'm assuming Xanax is close to taking on the goddamn... Brute Tigrex. I'm still waiting for both of you, so... Well, I was waiting for both of you, so now I'm back and ready. No, I was all the time ready. I was waiting for you guys. Well, I, I mean, I just to... helped Zionix with his shit, but I didn't do much. <laughs> Quicklier, you bastard. Quicklier. Doing another Garmay voucher, because I have a ridiculous amount now. <laughs> yeah, you stack up on those as well, pretty much, with the... Uh, like I said, when I did my little run, I got a, a plus 90 or some shit like that, so I was like, yeah, I, I really don't Yeah, care then think about it, how much I got when I burned over 600,000 fucking coal down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm still over 500 tickets at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm at about 120 right now. Um. Oh, and it's in the arena. Woo woo. Mm hmm. I'm just dreaming really much, but that's something you can deal with. <laughs> and don't forget, Psionics, with the sticky bit, you have to ha have to shoot the head all the time, and not the wings, or something like that. I mean, you can they still shoot. Can still shoot the legs if you want to topple it, but most of the time it's easier to just keep on shooting the fucking it. Yeah, and I want to focus on the arm so it loses mobility. Yep, and that's what we have a dual blades user for to topple yeah. it from the fucking legs. I'm still used to aiming for the tail, and I think that's been <coughs> one of my bigger fails thus far. Yeah, I've just been fighting with the UI here. Uh huh, the UI. Uh, I just want to make sure I can craft my stickies. Oh, wow. I was way wrong. You still got a bunch of the steam tickets. And that just sold that issue for the next couple of quests. Yeah. 
I mean, unless I go absolutely horrible, that just saved me, or now it makes it to where I'm good for the next... 50 ounce. 60 missions. <laughs> This game fighting me. And even if you don't, you just go back into the uh, fairway to Zinogre, get a bunch of fucking coal, and let the Steamworks mm. run again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Psionic, there we go. Sorry, I'm just. My uh, radio menu isn't being set like I expected to be set, but now I think I got it. So we got another 10 minutes. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I got it. I got it. So how were you doing today, Mookie? You know, enjoying Germany, all the chocolate and shit. You know, maybe <laughs> the ales. <laughs> Don't worry. Zonix is busy. Yeah, I yeah, I know. Busy. It's fun. Hey, he joined. Wow. Fuck you both. <laughs> I was. It sounds like you should leave me down, Mookie. He, he, he sounds like he could take this on by himself. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, now he should be. He got a pretty decent should sticky bomb set. Be. Hmm? <laughs> I said should be. Many people with saying... this set can fight a fucking Raging solo in under 20 minutes, so. There is that fucker. Gotta change that you one. can also run him into a wall, by the way. Yeah. Well. When he's not pissed. And when I'm not affected by his stupid screams. You're ready to shoot him back into the wall when he stands up, right? Oh, fuck you. He's stunned. See? And now you can bring him into the wall. If I wasn't so affected by his goddamn screams. If he comes back here. Come back, you motherfucker. No, oh, he threw shit at me. Don't forget to e evade to reload your gun and not to yep. reload on the normal way. Yep, I got it. It's a new place now, I'm getting used to it, but I think I got it. True armor here. Yeah. yeah, don't forget to collect all the shinies that are laying on the ground. Yeah. That's where all the armor spheres are, apparently. Yep. I wasn't even that low on health. Uh, 
I mean, the only thing you have to watch out for is to really hit his head all the time. But that's something you can do, I guess. I'm poisoned, dude. There he goes on the ground again, thanks to you. And you should notice he, your uh, stuff does pretty decent if you watch out where to hit, right? Yeah, no, I, I'm doing good damage, I see that. I'm just uh, mad because my, uh, my radio menu he is flinched. cheap. I think three or four more shots and you stunt him again. If you hit him all on that. I mean, you're using right now one of my early game builds. And some other people are using to rush quick to the highest mastering possible. Yeah, no, it's just my radio menu's fucked at the moment. And I don't yeah, have but everything else should be pretty good. Yeah, it's fine, I'm just... Uh... Struggling with the radio menu, yeah. Yeah, just... But everything else should be pretty fine. I mean, if you once got down the evade reload, you should be fine to go. You shouldn't evade into the attacks from the monsters, <laughs> by the no, way. No, I shouldn't. That, that, that is very much a bad thing to do. <laughs> Maybe you should keep collecting all the stuff that falls on the ground. Mm. 
and I need to turn him around to bang into the wall or not. He just gets angry because he's a fuckhead. If you got some traps on you, you can still use them to keep that motherfucker down a bit. So random curiosity, how many stickies does he usually take to knock a monster down? I understand there's a fair amount of variance to that, but... Yeah, but every time you stun the monster, the um, threshold before it gets stunned again goes up. So yeah, right now you need 2320 and he has around uh, 1500 right now. Fuck off. Yeah, I wasn't careful enough. I'm sorry. But yeah. yeah. How does the stick a bit feel? Um, something you could work with or... Yeah, something? no, it's definitely something I can work with. It's just different. I, I gotta take a leak though. Bring it back. Sounds like he will be having fun in the near future with that. Sounds like it. Would be happy to for him if he will be fu having fun with it. <laughs> I guess for me, the question is, back. are we doing that again or are we going for the... I don't know, if uh, you need more armor spheres, we can do it again. I mean, I kind of do, but right now I'm I'm more interested in getting more decorations. I don't know where Zionix is at on that particular front. Because I'm still at the point where I'm not sure if I'm at... I mean, I've already... Because I... Well, yeah. I have Almost two pieces no of really Valkyana either. gear, which is already maxed out. I'm just not sure what I want to do with my other three pieces right now. So mm. I'm at a... Hmm? Raging Brecadios, which comes in a special assignment part. Would be an option. Yeah, no, sounds good. Yeah, no, this sticky which... build is a... Uh... I think it's a good build. I just, uh, I need to fix my radials. And you, cause it, it's a lot more active on the ammo crafting than I'm used to. Yeah, I mean, you got uh, less ammo to use. So that's why I told you to get enough stuff to recraft it. And to have a forecaster in your inventory to get back up to the camp wherever it is and get the fuck out of there when you run out of ammo and mm -hmm. recraft material to for the ammo which can happen on the fight then you just use a forecaster and get back up and restock and get back down there that's what i told you 
don't remember the Firecaster, but I'm not gonna... Uh, you can craft it as well. I... No, I'm just saying, I, I don't remember you telling me to have Firecaster, but me. I can have it. Uh, yeah. I told you a few times, but probably you didn't listen because you were fucking with your radio menu. Probably, he didn't listen yeah. because he's Zionix. And Zionix <laughs> knows what Zionix needs, so, yeah. But yeah, Farcaster is the way to go. If you run out of ammo for any weapon you need or stuff you need, you use the Farcaster, get back out, be instant in the campsite and restock your items and your ammunition and get back into the fight. Yeah, no, you're, you're not wrong there. I mean, the, there are a few exceptions when you can't use it, but in every normal hunt you can use it all the time. Like for instance, if the uh, Nova from Freddy or when you fight a Latrion you can't use the Forecaster, but every other time you can. Alright, so I think I got my uh, bullshit sorted out. Matt, refill if you're ready, Buddha. I'm at a half cup, so let's do one more. So Are we going for. Tigrex you can look if you have for... enough armor spheres, and Buddha would want to get some jewels and must rank up. So I would say if you got enough jewels to upgrade your stuff a bit. Then we go hunting the Nogre for Druids. Oi, oi. And mustering at the same time. Zonix. I'm upgrading my uh... armor. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, I was able to upgrade a bit, but I don't have the armor spheres to max out my gear. upgrade everything? Yeah, no. Okay. I mean, nothing stops you from doing it later on again, a few times. Yeah, no, and that's I, I don't I don't think I need the armor spheres right now, but it would it's one of those things that would be nice to have. I mean, you get some every now and then as well. And if I could give you some, I would give you some. I mean, I don't need them anymore. <clears throat> and I got a fuck ton of them. Yeah, so this is the jewel hunting. Yep. Or decoration hunting. Decoration and must rank at the same time, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what camp do I want to go to? Uh, usually it's somewhere around camp 8. There are some rare occasions where he isn't, but... 90% of the time he's close to camp 8, either to the left or to the right. But you still can use the sticky bit if you want to. Oh yeah, I'm still using sticky. Um, I, I want to get used to it. Yeah, like I said, if you get used to it and recraft the uh, stuff on the fly and remember to evade to reload, you're pretty much set for life. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, area 8. It's just a, a different style of play. Like, it, it's a different play style. 
Is it bad? No, it's not bad. It's just different. Different. Yeah, but nothing you can't get used to, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think it's anything... That's not really hard, in my opinion. I mean, the only thing you have really to consider all the time is to hit the right spaces, which is usually the head. Yeah, I need to just make sure I'm hitting the face. I mean, if you want to get the early topple and you're hunting alone, you can also shoot the front legs or some monsters to topple them off. But uh, most of the time you just focus on that specifically. Pretty much to get the stun out. So, for instance, the Ogre first stun would be 680, and he has 560 already. So, just a few hits. Wow! Owie! Yeah, the Ogre still hits pretty hard. Since you haven't upgraded your armor sphere, especially for you. And just a heads up, this is what me and Mookie were fighting when I was collecting the coal. Yeah, but not the tempered version. That is true. But still, you know, <laughs> learning its attack pattern is not a, oh, you know, just for this particular thing. No, learning the attack pattern is uh, important for every monster there is. I know, but some you attack a lot, some you do just once or twice. Yeah, but Zenogre is one of the monsters you do a lot of to... Uh, either if you need coal or you need... Uh, master rank up to 100. After 100 you do Teostra, pretty much only. And I think you know uh, why I told you to maybe use some uh, Evade Extender Druids in there as well. Yeah, and no, bigger it range. makes reloading a bit a easier lot. and you evade further down so if the monster turns you don't have to put your weapon away and they can yeah, deal damage yeah, no. too. Evade Extender is better, I think. Um, I think Evade Extender actually is quite a bit better than just having fast reload. It, it, it's just a different playstyle, is all. And I'm just getting used to the new playstyle. I hope you're still having fun with it. Yeah, no, that's good. I mean, the Nama should be making you smile a bit. They shouldn't be too low. Compared to what you used to. Or are they way lower than what you otherwise see on the other set? Well, so... The armor, I, I think my, uh, I, 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, my armor is weaker than I'm used to, I think. Because I hadn't upgraded my Nargakuga gear. 
but uh, the the damage is good. I it yeah no it, it seems good. Plus the KOs are all good for everyone. No, I mean I'm not sure this would be a great solo build, but it is. Like I said, many people use it to solo monsters because the um, stun threshold is way lower if you go solo. And you would also have to deal way less damage. Yeah, no, the ability to knock down a monster seems like oh, that. Oh, fuck and hell. That's fine. Yeah, the ability to keep the monster progressively down is pretty handy. I That's know, why I that most of the time you have two or three supportive hunters uh, and one or two uh, damage dealing hunters. Which this case should be me and Buddha and you are the supportive part to keep the monster progressively down. Which you're doing right. quite good for your yeah. experience based. I'm okay being the support monger. I mean, you still do pretty decent damage. Nothing wrong with it, but you could do more damage with, for instance, the spread build, but yeah. You're still standing way beyond Buddha most of the time now. Uh, I'm actually the one who just hasn't been knocked out for a while. <laughs> yeah, but he does more damage. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not being knocked out. Yeah, but being knocked out can happen to everyone. The monster focuses you one person. time bad, then you die. The Especially as a fact that I haven't been knocked out yet is fascinating because I'm the one with the weakest armor right now, like definitively. No, I don't think so. I think the one Zionix is using now isn't really much tougher at all. He's leveled up his armor, though, I believe. Some of it. But Zionix, what numbers are you seeing? 200? 150? Um, most of my explosions, explosions are about 100 per. That's good. <laughs> Moogie says 200, 150, and you're like, oh, 100. Yeah, you're adorable. <laughs> I mean, it's an early bit, so. That is true. But yeah, so, I, I kind of cobbled this shit together tonight, so. Uh, 100 and per shot's not bad, I don't think. <laughs> no, it's pretty decent. And if you consider the monsters having way more health and whatnot, because we are, fle we are on four player difficulty, mm -hmm. it's pretty damn good. If you remember that fact. I have to keep Zionix humble. I do my job. <laughs> yeah. And if Buddha gets his DPS up, the same amount, this hunt would be already over. Yep. My character decided instead of rolling, we put the weapon away. Nice. So how about that? I didn't get knocked Buddha? out! I'm awesome! <laughs> happens. Like I said, happens. Yeah, no, it does. Uh, honestly, me and Boot are punching above our weight class, so I got zero shit Expected. I can talk. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Like and I said, I can it talk happened. a minimal amount of shit because I didn't get knocked out. <laughs> Still, it happens. I don't care. We just start over again.
And it's not an easy quest. I've seen many people fail it over and over again. Yeah, no, this is not uh, an easy critter to kill. Yep. No, I'm as, well, not as, but I'm pretty as built as I can be. You say so. Well, with my pathetic shit, this is why I'm assuming this... Yeah, no, this is the mission to get decorations. I need better decorations. Right now, I'm quite literally... Like, the only thing I could really change is add more uh, vitality gems. Because right now, I'm assuming having the drain gem plus expert is good. Satiate plus expert is good. The stream, um, is... the one slot stream gen is not good in a weapon if you couldn't do any better. I know, but what do I replace that with? Because all of my three stars are horrible. Constitution, Constitution, two slot. If you ha don't have a good three slot, at least put a good two slot in there, which would be Constitution or Marathon Runner. Either one would be good. Which now, decreases the amount of stamina you use. Marathon Runner only works with your weapon sheath, no. though, right? No. Marathon Runner works as long as you use demon mode uh, and every time you evade. I have one constitution. Yeah, yeah, I, one I constitution thought constitution decreased. only worked for uh, when your weapon was sheathed. So, no, constitution, constitution is how much stamina you use. See, I figured trying to pimp out my uh, primary element would be would have been better in comparison. Yeah, but if you have, so at least should some... I drop? So I have, sorry, I have an invasion jewel too. Should I replace that with another constitution gem? Yeah. The longer you spend in demon mode, the more damage you deal. So if you have Merge from Runner. Critical boost or any constitution stuff, you and should put it I in. I am right, I have no marathon runner. You got a sprinter and a physique, which are both stuff for constitution. Well, there's the physique. I must have missed the marathon. <clears throat> the sprinter is marathon runner. Right above physique. Like I said, both work for demon mode and evasion, which you do pretty much all the time as the yeah. blood user. So should I double down on physique or should I spread it one sprinter, <laughs> one physique? Mm, look what she gives you more. Uh, Marathon Runner gives you 15% on one point and physique gives you, I think, 10. Yeah, okay, so, so. I want Marathon Runner. Yep. And marathon runner. Do I only have one sprinter? I only had one. Okay, so. If I use dual blades, I look that I get as much from both of them as I can. And then use dash juice on top of that to even enhance that. Even no, more. and I do use the dash juice, which is part of the reason why I'm thinking where, well, specifically with, well, every enemy, but with this particular enemy, I want to have sh greater water damage. That's why I added sh the weaker stream jewel to my weapon so that yeah, I can Yeah, but the get more hits speed. you do in demon mode, the more damage you get out. That's true. If you get 10 more hits out in demon mode, which demon mode increases, is still more damage than getting one fucking jewel in. Or a little bit elemental damage. And water is only the second, so ice would be better. If you want to uh, For this enemy, it's supposed yes. to be water. No, Zynogar is ice. Three star, Fuck water, Harry's. two star. I mean, the hunter knows say the, says it. 
Yeah, sure my apologies. I thought it was water, so I didn't change it. Nope, it was uh, ice. Set decoration, change. <laughs> Frost. You should start making your sets complete with the... Yeah, no, I need, I need to start saving that, and I'm going to be doing that well. Not for us today, but yeah. So, Zeke. You got already one sprinter in there where you don't have another one, so physique it is. Sprinter, physique, I was just, yeah. No, and I have to admit, I've been holding off just for the simple fact, uh, fact of I'm not sure how my armor is going, going to be changing and whatnot. You can, and, and you can delete case. this uh, saved set and re-save yeah. it. And if you save a set, all the jewels you have in that set saved still be in that set, even if you remove the stuff out of the set and rework it. Roger. That's yeah, why nah. I save my set, then I remove everything and I build it back up. Well, and for me, and it's been, it over. I know I'm going to be shifting sets soon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's where it's just like, OK, I, I'm going to just leave it alone. Yeah, but it makes life easier, especially it for does, Google it does. user. No, and that's where, like I said, I mean, I've been a little bit lazy on the uh, lazy I, yeah i know yeah. where it's like okay i i'm waiting for a certain like turn point where it's like okay this is going to become my new norm and i'm gonna run with that yeah the new norm will be uh bracadios for you at least three parts or two parts depending on the choice from you See, Which gives you agitators. Okay, I, I'm gonna admit, agitators I'm gonna admit to being a little bit of a bitch then, because when our uh, agitator, I get an increased damage when they're aggro. But yeah, with some of these enemies, they, yeah, which they yeah. already get if you bang them into the wall one or twice. Oh yeah, twice. no, they're aggro frequently. But the problem is, is me getting close and not getting wrecked. That's my problem. Is I go up there and it's like, I'm going to stabby stabby the legs, the face, the tail, whatever. But they're. That's attack, where the mental come attack. in. Yeah, that's where the mental come in place. Which, why you don't use the vitality? Because it doesn't hold off enough. Enough. Where you use the other mantles. Well, like see, right board. now, I use mantles based on what I'm taking on. So I have the temporal mantle, and yes, right and now the evasion I have, mantle would be an option for you as well. Which I do increases not have the evasion speed. mantle. So right now I'm using the, well, for this particular enemy, I'm using the thunder mantle. So I'm like literally adjusting for this enemy. The fact that I was wrong, I thought ice or water was better than ice. That was my bad. That 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 was a fail. I don't like, criticize you too much. Don't get on the defensive. No, no, no. And I'm not. A, right? I'm not. Don't I'm worry not about it. Defensive. I'm explaining my perspective. I was yeah, wrong. But... I'm fine with being wrong. I'm just explaining my thought process yeah. in my wrongness. <laughs> yeah, but if you have doubts what the enemy have, look into the answer notes. And if you don't have it, I'm here with the completed answer notes. Oh, dude, I can tell, tell you me, what element Tell me is. I'm the stupidest person alive and explain it, and I will not be that angry. I'll just say, oh, I thought this was better. Same thing like you were saying, where it's like, hey, dude, you know what? You want Sprinter, you want Physique. I thought having, well, previously the stream uh, jewel would have been better to maximize. It's like, no, no, no. Maximize your element, cool, but at the same time, you need to be able to hit, you know, five, ten times more. In which case, that plus one to your stream is irrelevant. Yeah. Fucking cool. That makes uh, sense. 
I, I, I mean, if, if if you think about it, you get for one jewel what twenty elemental based, which relevates in the damage numbers. You see, like two or three points per hit, at best. So well, if you do fifty, you do after you put in the stream jewel, you do fifty-two. Well, now, right now, I, and this is part that, of the that's reason That's my why thought was... process behind that, right? So, so if you hit 52 yeah. instead of 50, how many hits do you need to reconsider it if you don't want to switch over to something which keeps you more alive? Because using no. less yeah. stamina and having more time in demon mode, which makes your attack stronger, which keeps your survive longer, which you don't use as much stamina for evasion and such, which you do quite often. Uh, so you can get at least three more hits out with Marathon Runner and Physique out. So yeah, uh, three and, more hits I, are three times 50. Is and I agree the with one that. point stream relevant no, there? Right. No. Let, let, uh, okay, because, you know, I, I'm a small, simple-minded person at this point. Right now, I'm at level 3 ice attack because of, uh, of equipment and jewel. Yeah, that's fine. that's fine. I, if I add one more jewel for you get ice, the percentage I get I know. an additional 100% plus a 5%. So, I'm going to be at well, right now I'm at 460, so that would put me at 500. And depending on how the mathematics of the 5% kicks in, that's going to put me at... Uh, that let's just don't say put you up too much. That's the problem. I would lever, I would uh, rather double down on the constitution than on the elemental damage right now for you. Huh? I, I, I'm fine with it. I, I, I concede. You're right. It, it was just one of those things that for me it's like okay plus it or uh, for every one after level three it's an additional 105 percent 10 percent i would rather invest instead of the ice attack in the critical eye huh? and i or I, even I think critical our... boost throw yeah, away the ice boost, attack yeah. throw away the critical draw throw in Critical well, boost. the critical draw is quite literally the, <coughs> just me using Nargakuga. And the reason why I'm using Nargakuga is the greatly reduced sharpness loss. No, aspect. the critical draw comes from the boots, which is Vicana, if I'm not wrong no. right now. No, uh, is it? It might be. <laughs> I looked into and, your stuff. You can't fool me. <laughs> I'm not trying to fool you. I'm just trying to say. Okay, I, I'll work on that later. <laughs> because critical draw only affects the first attack after you draw your weapon, which is huh? <laughs> at the beginning of the hunt. Once you enter the area where the monster ran into, so... Well, I was assuming every once in a while, because if I'm going to do the slide, like, super go down the spine attack... No, you don't put would... your weapon away. Yeah, because you... If, no. if you were using Greatsword, I would say, Raid, great choice, nice. You're done correct. But you don't put your weapon away normally with dual blades. Yeah, when it comes to the blades, that's... How many times do you have your blades in the back pocket? Almost none. And every time you do, you don't do your damage. But that's because I reposition myself, but yeah, I yeah, understand your Yeah, but you can do it if you have more constitution without the weapon putting back. So... Dude, uh, and I agree with you. Every uh, second you have your weapon out and are in demon mode, the damage comes out. So, the more time you can spend in demon mode, the more damage you do. Well, or right now, part of the, the reason why I'm doing what I have is uh, going for the the, the Valkana uh, bonus, which is... Sorry, hold on a second. The critical element. critical element, yeah, I know. Yeah. 
which is and fine. And I do have to admit, I'm doing this because of something that I did see from an online thing. I mean, critical element and true critical element are nice stuff, but it doesn't increase that much. If you can't keep your weapon out to steadily increase your attacks, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, and in which case, you know, I'm perfectly fine with shifting my equipment and the fact that, you know, um, dropping the names. Charge, volley, and shit like that could lead to better equipment. It's fine. I'm just trying to figure out how I can maximize when I'm still at like, uh, hey, you know, you just barely are at the, you beat the game tier. Yeah, which is what I told you. Maximize yeah. out your constitution and your marathon runner and you will see that you get way more DPS out. Just because you can stay way longer in the demon mode without having the problem of running out of constitution. Yeah, no, and I agree with that. Part of my, you know uh, that you do the most damage in fucking demon mode. If you don't know that, you're pretty fucking hell and should consider throwing the weapon away. <laughs> because every dual blade user knows that his damage comes out of the demon mode and not everything yes, else. Yes, I do understand that. Like right now, honestly, and I don't know if it's because I don't know the end tier monsters well enough. I agree with you when it comes to um, agitator. The problem is, is with how active they are, my ability to become close to them to do damage. Yeah, but is it changes uh, because... at the moment. You have more constitution and can evade longer and can evade more often. Therefore, and you don't use as much stamina. Or you want to tell me I'm wrong? No, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying, based on my play style, I am not gonna say I'm an expert player. What you're saying could be the absolute most perfect aspect of dual blades. I'm saying I am not the incarnation of the perfect play style of dual blades. So I'm trying I, to adjust to I what I know. I have in this save file alone, I think over one and a half thousand uses of dual blades. Which doesn't mean I'm perfect, but I'm <coughs> kind of decent, I would say. Or decent enough to be at least under the high to mid tier players right yeah, now. Yeah, no, and I, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that when it comes down to it, I have to take what is and adjust it to my play style. That's what I'm trying to say. You're perfectly right as far as I can tell. But when it comes to my playstyle, my knowledge of the game and whatnot, I just have to go, you know what? When it comes to agitator, especially when they're not, you know, knocked to the ground and what have you, I'm I very rarely are am able to run in there and do damage. I'm doing more skirting, kiting, whatever you want to call it. You know, staying on the edges going, okay. I'm gonna try to go in now and do some attacks, but I do so very little attacks when they're enraged that it's like, okay, well, agitator sounds awesome. My ability to go in there and actually attack is so minimal that I'm like, uh, okay, um, I'm going to minimize the whole. Yeah, but that's why you're on the bottom or rock bottom of the DPS. That's why the hunts yeah. take so long. That's why so much stuff takes so long. And that's why so many people struggle. Because you're too scared to move in there and deal the DPS. Oh, I'm more than do. willing to move in there. It's just the fact that my timing has proven to be horrible. In which case, as my and timing... And learn the timing of the monster. Look at the monster and learn the timing from the monster. Learn and the attack timing of your weapon. Learn I, what... I... What I agree with that. Your weapon, how long each weapon attack does. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. But the problem is, is that's kind of what leads to me, you know, getting knocked out two, three times in a map where we yeah, only have two or three. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I mean, 
you see that even I get knocked out every now and then. Yeah. Every now and then. And that's what, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, though, is for me, part of it is like, okay, you know, early, especially early on, I'll go pretty active aggro. And then as soon as I, you know, lose some of my benefits, as soon as the, our knockout rate becomes low enough, okay, you know, I'm going to become a little more of the pansy aspect where it's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna stick to the side and wait until I can actually. Yeah, and one of the problem proper. is that you run around so much and are so far away. We are supposed to be the furthest from from the monster, me and Zionix. So you running around keeps the monster way more away from us and facing the wrong directions and such, which decreases the m amount of time we can spend on dealing damage. So every time you run away, the monster runs behind uh, behind you, if you didn't notice. The further away no, you are, and I get that, are. but I also have to admit to the certain funny aspect where... Where, you know, every once in a while, I'm just trying to make some distance so I can drink a potion, then all of a sudden, I'm the sexiest don't, thing on the planet. Yeah, because you run away. The monster is so programmed. But even when the I'm furthest, close... Yeah, but the furthest away target becomes most of the time aggro and gets the most damage taken on. Ow! And see, happens. Yeah. And see, for me, that's part of it where uh, it, you say the most Don't run away, man. Stay, stay under or close to the monster and you will see I you will have the monster less when trouble. I it sm uh, smacked over to Zionix and then it sm smacked right over to me. Yeah, while I was and how to heal. far are you away from each other? I was pretty close. I, well, I was close to the monster. I don't know how close Zionix you was. You were both far away from each other and from the monster, whereas Zionix pretty far away. So I need to be close to the monster <laughs> and Zionics close to my well. teammates while I'm doing what I'm doing. Yep. I mean, so if, if everyone Sonics keeps is going for the head and I'm going for the tail, no, I'm you're fucking going up. for the front legs. If you want to do it right, go for the front legs. But if that's what I'm saying is, if Zionix is going for the face and I'm going for the tail, that is me being flawed. Yeah, that's you being wrong, pretty much. Okay, I, I, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I, that, but that's just one of those <laughs> that I was trying to. If understand. if you go for the front legs, you. If you do enough damage to the front legs, he falls over. He lays down and cries again. Yeah, no, That's and I get what that. Zionix is doing as well. He goes for the head. He is making sure the monster falls over and we can deal damage. You go onto the front legs, deal damage to the front legs. He falls over. We can deal damage. That's what every part of the member does. You focus on stuff that so the it, party... So it's not exactly that the parts matter, it's the quadrants that matter. The front, or the, the front core, or the front third, the middle third, and the back third then. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I you know, I, I didn't know that. I, I'm more than willing to accept I, I was 100% wrong. Because for me, I figured, okay, Xanax and you are dealing damage to the face i'm dealing damage to the tail the fact that we're now maximize or we're not maximizing the damage to one aspect but ma maximizing the damage to two aspects would have a cumulative effect more than just focusing on one the uh, higher uh, cumulative I'm... effect would be for you to hit the front legs which makes him stamp over uh, or roll over and can't do much Right. That's the best right. cumulative damage you can do. If you can't right. hi hit the head, get on the front paws. If you can't hit the front paws, get on the back paws. Or okay, get back so, on the face. Okay, That's so where you're question, supposed then. to be. When it comes to, say, Teostra, <laughs> where I can't weaken the front legs, is it still Teostra beneficial? Teostra is always for... face. Teostra is face only. So Teostra and Lunastra uh -huh. are face only. Get on the face every time, all the time. Geostar is really, really weak on the face. The, st the more you hit the face, the more often the he falls over. And the more damage you can deal. Huh? So, 
doesn't help that anything else you hit has to be weakened before you can do damage to it. Well, yeah. and that's where I was trying to figure out. It's like, okay, if I weaken an area, because, like, when it comes to Teostra, I tried to, you know, like, weaken the four legs. But the problem is, is the four legs don't doesn't get matter. weakened. The wings do. In which case, me attacking the legs, the four legs, seems like they're irrelevant. And they being are. in front of its face is dangerous. So I'm trying to figure out how I can continue to do don't damage. Don't stand directly in front of its face. Stand slightly to the right or slightly to the left from the face. And face directly into the face. If you stand slightly to the right or to the left from the face, you can hit the face. When what? still facing the face. If you understand what I'm saying right now. No, no, no. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, okay. But yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. I just figured attacking the hind legs, the tails, the wings would be supplemental, not irrelevant. Yeah, but the uh, uh, tail doesn't bring you much other than one more part to loot if you're done with the hunt. But what brings you one more part to loot if you can't finish the quest? Because all the party is still suffering all the time because the monster doesn't get knocked down as much so the damage can't get put into the monster as much as it need to be to finish the hunt successful in a decent amount of time. The longer the hunt takes, the more you run out of resources, especially for someone like him with Sticky. Sticky gunners no. are pretty low on resources and ammunition, which and you have I to consider. That. I get that. But honestly, I was assuming that, okay, if Xynix, well, and you, but Xynix and Er was attacking the face and I was attacking the tail, that there would be a cumulative exhaustion knockdown damage that was happening don't get me wrong attacking the face is more important but i figured me attacking a unique area would also um, have a positive a, effect yeah second option no, there no. for uh Zynogre. if you break the face he loses his charge for his uh electric fur which decreases the amount of damage you take which is so also when it comes part. down to it, the face and front aspect is the most important aspect. Tail only matters if, if you want more loot and the monster is pretty much easy to huh? go anyway. If we were four hunters, I would let you go on the tail all the time. I don't care. But you have to consider we have to fill up one more slot, which isn't here. Okay. So that... <laughs> We have to deal the damage of four people and we are free, so... No, no, no. I, I understand your perspective and what you've been saying. I do. It's just... I, I was trying to explain my ignorance. So, you know what? You're right. I'm not going to say you're wrong. It's just... Okay, I need to change what I've been doing. I'm fine with that. Yeah, focus on the front legs. And focus on the head. But if you would have asked me, I would have told you. What can I say? I thought I was doing proper. No, I told you many times that you are pretty much rock bottom at the moment of this hunting team. And I don't, <laughs> and I don't want to... What are you talking about? I've been Zionix plenty of times. Yeah, <clears throat> but Zionix was using a pretty useless set for most monsters. <laughs> and I, I was mean, using you hunt, the golden you hunt set? I think small. that's a flawed argument, dude. No, if you hunt something small, you can't deal much damage with Pierce. It's fucking stupid. If you go as, instead with, like, for right now, Sticky, he does way more damage and he knocks the monster out every now and mm -hmm. then, pretty often, which also increases the DPS we can do which also accumulates more DPS. So he has three functions at the moment. Dealing DPS, getting the monster back on the ground, and making sure we can do our damage part, which he does with knocking the monster down. And he even helps you with knocking the monster over when he shoots at to the front legs.
See? Now he's knocked over again and we can deal our damage. Which we are supposed to do. Ah, fuck when you, Bambaro! And now away. we're trying to help for, uh, Terror with Bambaro. There we go. You can do more damage to Zenover again. I rock Bambaro into Zenover. Now we can run the nowhere into something again. There we go. Again, more damage. Where are you right now, Buddha? I don't see you on the front legs, I don't see you on the face. All the time where he was laying down. I know I'm rude, I know I'm an asshole, but... No, being I... rude and asshole doesn't... is not an issue. Is I'm the only one, as far as I can tell, with the dunk pods. So part of me is realigning myself. Yeah, but if... if you... You get rid of Ben Barrow if he doesn't no, actually no, initiate why you, a why you want to get rid of Ben Barrow? Take Ben Barrow, turn him around, make Fuck. him face Zenogre, and let him run into Zenogre. Both get knocked on the ground again. Why you want to dunk pot him? Because I'm one of those people who prefer to just have the target here and not have an additional yeah, that can if, run. Yeah, but if Barrow runs into Zenogar, you deal both a fuck ton of damage. Both get on the ground. So why get rid of Ben Barrow? Because Ben Barrow is God damn it is uh uh. Uh, Annoying, yeah, but doesn't matter if you run Ben Barrow into Zenogre two times and Zenogre get out of his rage and you run Zenogre two times into Ben Barrow, you get 4k damage, which you don't have to deal. And now tell me, 4k damage isn't enough to verify what I'm... I was saying. Fuck that, I had to paint it. No, you're right. Running the other and are the other monster into Denogur, any any other monster He's is going is sleep. is beneficial. The problem is is well when they're both enraged, what do you do when one's enraged but the other one's uh, not enraged? Most of so. the time, one leaves the area after you bonked them into each other a few times. Pretty so much every time. You saying bonking them into them twice is. What, uh, uh, rate aspect that is popping? highly unlikely? I can pop if you want. You pop. Yeah, I mean, even bonking them into each other once gives you two times around 800 or 900 damage. No, so you want to tell me yeah. 900 damage isn't enough to verify it? To have Bambaro on the same part of the map as Xenogre. But at the same time, how many times have you failed to readjust a monster so that it can run Often into enough, a wall? Often enough, the funny thing is, since you are supposed to stand next to Xenogre, Bambaro pretty much every time and all the time gonna face the hunters. If both hunters parties and all hunters are facing the fucking monster. Where yeah. do you think Ben Bauer is going? He's not going anywhere than to the hunters. So, where is he going? Pretty much fucking into Zenogre all the time. If you so think about me, it for a moment. Me currently with the lowest survivability rate, I'm supposed to be, no, don't get me wrong, especially be based on my weapon range. Obviously, I'm supposed to be right up there in the, the tits, as it were, of every yeah. monster. But when all of a sudden there's two monsters that could be turf warring, facing off and whatnot, I'm supposed to stay there where I'm still currently the weakest member. Now, the weakest member aspect is... The, you have two choices. Either stay at Zenogre or go...
go into Brent Barrow and make Brent Barrow run into Zenoga. Those are the choices you have. So decide for either one and make sure the party notices. So the other rest of the party can go and deal the damage into Zenoga at the moment when he falls down. Which is making sure you got it, all the ammunition reloaded and whatnot. That's the part you have to consider right now. You are the part which is either all the time in the monster, pretty much, getting right his breath sniffing and all his tooth licking at the time, or go around, take the Bambaro and ride him right back into hell, into Zinoga. That's the options you have, pretty much. <laughs> and I'm not being mean or something. No, just be as, be as mean as you can be. I'm just... And I understand what you're saying, but right now part of me is like, okay. A, when it comes to... Well, yeah. No, when it comes to Zenogre and Bambaro, I still not have uh, memorized their attack patterns. In which case, I am being more passive on that aspect because I'm not 100% okay, they're going to do this, do this, do this, and do this. In which case, if you want to memorize them, go do yourself a favor. Just go out on it, doesn't matter what hunt or if it's a mission or just expedition. Yeah, no, I need to fight just them. Just run a lot. around them and play ring around the Rosie and don't attack them and just look at what they're doing. All the time. And I Run him into that. the wall two times and look what they're doing when they're enraged. And just play ring around to Rosie. And just yeah. look. And don't attack, just look. And then if you memorized it and done enough looking and you can't look enough oh, you and can't take it anymore, then leave the quest. Close the eyes, breathe in a few times, go into your head and get it all done again. Yeah. But I go to the toilet right now. I need it. Two minutes. Like I told you, Xanax, oh. he's totally not Kim Jong Il. Or on either you, you, or. You tell me. My boy Mookie pees and poops. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I told you, man. So, I'm going to take a leak as well. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, Buddha is sitting here chastised. Back. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Ah. Ah. And she's back. Oh, welcome back. No, I just needed a quick back bathroom break. 
And I don't want to sound rude or something, just, I mean, look at some other people play dual blades. You see yeah. them all the time right in the face of the monster, pretty much yeah. sticking in the monster. Only getting out if they really see an opportunity to either bang him into the wall or bang another monster into the monster. That's yeah. the only times you see a dual blade user get out. Or if they uh, have really big problems, but even then, you could tell it. If you don't get one-shotted and you have big problems, either me or Zionix can just use the dust of life and heal you back up if needed. Same goes for you. If you see either one of us pretty far down and we can't get our health back up immediately, use the dust of life and then go back into punching. Yeah. And I don't want to hunt on you or something, or don't want to be mean to you, but just... I mean, I've seen enough... Be as mean as you can possibly can, I'm fine with that. I don't want to be. Yeah. Want to, don't want to, kind of relevant. Hey, I want you to be better. Be better. <laughs> That's the only thing I want to point out, so... I'm not gonna switch weapon now. I've done yeah. enough bowgun reform now. Fuck bowgun. I'm gonna join you on the dual blades. Ooh, two dual blades then. Hey you! <laughs> Extra pressure on me then. Not really. <laughs> Those fish will do damage. Well, he might not be using fish because ice, but yeah. Maybe it helps if you see me all the time facing into the monster and looking how I do it. Yeah. Not gonna lie though, this is gonna be my last mission. No, already? Dude, I'm fucking gone. I woke up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of Garth. I'm a little pansy like that. But if you have the time or am um, bored or something, go look up how other people play uh, dual blades, for instance. It m might help you. I mean, I'm sure it most definitely will. I mean, actually. My monster hunter close itself uh, just now. Nice. Anyways, I'm gonna join you back up in the mission. Or you wanted to do it solo. Flash with Zionix. Duo. Potion. No, I just you know, milky left. <laughs> I 
Is that just a glitch or what was that? What happened? Dude? I don't know. Once Hunter closed itself. I don't know why my monster just decided to give up on itself. No, I had something like that happen earlier, so. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't be doing that to me, Zenoker. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. You, you okay? Oh, you. <laughs> you. Sorry, I, I'm talking to an ogre. He thought I was sexy for uh, a bit longer than I was comfortable with. That's good. Move closer. <clears throat> Zionix. For you, Buddha. I don't see you close enough. Now I see you close enough. Balls. No, that was me moving closer. Nice. Next time you wait, but nice. I was stunned, but yeah. I mean, dual blades have the biggest debate frames out of all the weapons, so for you to evade should be the easiest of us three next to me because I use the same weapon right now.
Bionix, those are. I feel like I'm getting on your nerves right now. No, you're fine. You're good. I find instruction very valuable. Weapon sharpening, Buddha. Right now, this looks pretty good compared to the other hunts. How close you are to the monster and how much you're beating it. I and need like to I said, I'll uh, be right back. Yep. I just wanted to say, if you can't shoot the head because it's moving too much, you can uh, shoot the front paws, like I said earlier. Uh, just refilling my ammo. It's alright. Riding it.
back in the fight. And he's running away. That's fine. Wood uh, weapon. Hmm? Sharpening. Sharpen. Then refresh your dash juice if you haven't before you head out into the fight. Roger. He was capturable right now before you died. That was it for me. That's fine. Yeah. This run was way better than before. If I compare you two, you did at least 8% more damage than compared to the last hunts. So you're getting closer to Zionix again. That's good. Boom! boom. Yep. I'm achieving mm. more. Yeah, like I said, dual blades live from being into the monster stuck pretty much all the time. You have to be glued onto the monster pretty much to deal your damage. So seeing you everywhere else is only to either get stones to bonk the monster into the wall or into another monster. And I've grown more in the hole, at least mm -hmm. bashing into the wall, bashing into other monsters. So still some I need to actually take more into account, but that that's also good to know. <coughs> I mean, uh, well. every time you bash it into something, even if it's only a monster, you still do at least even yeah. in uh, one player mode more than you can deal alone in the next 10 seconds on damage. Yeah. So you boost your own damage pretty much because you can deal with him after he gets bonked into a, the other monster or the wall, which maximizes out your time on DPS. Mm -hmm. Then it deals also at the moment of impact more damage than you can deal most of the time than you would be able to alone in the yeah. time it lays on the ground. So uh -huh. every time you can bonk a monster into anything, you should do it. Yeah. Well, um, no. I, yeah. we we got enough people to do a raid and. Uh, 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 I'm gonna raid this guy, Barbarous King. I watch him all. I used to watch him all the time. He's a big old streamer. He probably won't even notice us, but you know what? I, he's still streaming, so I, I want to go ahead and do it. Do raid it, Barb. Just do it. Doing it now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on Sunday. And I hope you guys join us on a raid. You broke up Wait, the raid. I, oh, God damn it. I did the raid. Let me try that again. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought it was... Nah, never mind. I, I'm being retarded. I mean, dumb Friday. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's raid. I can't. Oh, you raided. Yep. <laughs>